Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One, and we are live at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Welcome in, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great night. And if you are just joining us for the first time, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button right below the video. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified every time we go live or have a new video. And follow us on social media. Uh, we are Resort TV One on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. So welcome, everybody. It's a busy Sunday evening at Hollywood Studios. So super excited to see everybody tonight. Starting here in the main plaza. Lots of fun. And uh, we hope that you will come along with us for all the fun, too. Happy anniversary, Fantasmic. Super awesome. Did anybody else know it was Fantasmic's 25th anniversary today? So we are going to celebrate. So for now, though, let's go hang out. Yes, had a great time with my friend. Uh, kind of a miraculous that I even made it here on time. I mean, I was one minute late, but I, I think that still counts. Anyway, because <laughs> I um, had a lot to do. Um, you know, my friend headed out this morning back home and had to uh, uh, do all the things, you know, uh, get beds ready for Steph and Liam tonight and everything. And um, and then they had just gotten home when I, when I uh, was getting ready to leave. So hung out with them for a little bit and then headed over here. So it's been busy, but we're here. We're ready. I don't really have a plan other than that we're going to see Fantasmic. Other than that, we're going to see Fantasmic. That's the plan. So yeah, happy 25th anniversary Fantasmic. It debuted October 15th, 1998. I double checked it. <laughs> it's a thing. Let's check the wait times. I missed you guys Friday. Friday was a very fun night hanging out with my friend, but I uh, definitely missed you guys as well and can't wait to uh, just have a fun night tonight. It sounds very fantastic, Dan. <laughs> I agree. Let's see where we're at on wait times here. Yeah. It's definitely... Uh, Long wait times everywhere, but that's okay. Probably stroll a little bit for a while until we can get some of the wait times down. Let's go see how our favorite tower is doing. Brad's like, how about a thought? Let's watch Fantasmic. You know, I think that sounds like an excellent idea, my friend. I think we will definitely do that. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, so Steph and Liam... Interestingly enough, uh, my friend uh, friend and his son and daughter came up, and his wife, uh, who's really good friends with Steph as well, they stayed at home where they live, and so Steph and Liam went down to visit um, visit the wife, and so they were gone for a couple nights, and um, so yeah, it was just kind of, a, it was like a trade, but they, you know, obviously Steph and Liam didn't want to go to Halloween Horror Nights, so that was kind of, uh, that worked out. Hey, Mom. Right. Look at that just beautiful day that we're having right now. Hi Allie. Hi Phil. Hi Miss Disney fan. I just cranked the quality to full because we need to enjoy this beautiful day with as much quality as possible, as many bits. Hey Max, hey Johnny. Hey Allie, hey Brianna. Yeah, we got some fun stuff coming up here in the next few days. I've got a relaxing stroll tomorrow. Jenna didn't have a video for tomorrow, so I'll have a video on Monday. We're kind of switching everything around just because of the weird schedule, but I will have a relaxing stroll tomorrow. It's a fall relaxing stroll, Halloween relaxing stroll around Magic Kingdom Main Street USA, so that's going to be super exciting as well. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Amy. Plymouth Rock. Take your tail, John. Grand Streeters, Disney Fanatic. Oh, somebody would have been 77 tomorrow? I have to look back. Hey, Grand Streeters. Not a cloud in the sky. Hi, Rico. 
all the bits. Love the music here. Oh, Joy, I love I love Fantasmic too. All right. Loving the quality on my big TV. Awesome. Look, here's the thumbnail. I should have started here, but I barely ran in the gate and pushed the start button, so I uh, had to eat dinner at home. Usually I eat at the park. It's faster, but ate at home, save some money, and just enjoy. Ooh, the shadow on there is interesting now. Hey, Tara. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful blue. Let's see what it looks like in here. Ashley says, I'm always watching replays. My second live. Well, I'm glad you're here for the live. See, now you get to watch it. Now you get to hear your name on the replay, too. That's the best part. That is the best part. Well, line's not out the back. Part of me just wants to kind of do it. Let's just go back here and see what it looks like. Tower Terror is creepy even in the daytime. Yeah. Can we talk about what a beautiful day? Steve, it is a beautiful day. Oh, yeah, that's... I don't know if that's going to be 45 minutes or not. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we just do it? And we'll just bet that it won't be 45 minutes. We'll just enjoy this beautiful music and chat. I don't know. I'm kind of game for it. But we could do it later when it's less, too. Suzanne Summers passed away. Oh, sorry to hear that. Hey, Brooke. There's a reservation at Disneyland tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Connie. 100th festivities. Um, yeah, nothing really extra going on here, I guess. Just a lot of merch and things. I mean, we have the uh, we have Soren over California here. That was the only really special 50th thing that we have. Just watch behind the making of Tower Terror. Nice. Love this music too, and you got all the the mist and stuff coming out. Look at the mist. Isn't that cool? Are you gonna see Fantasmic at eight or nine thirty? So we can. I, I want to do nine thirty for sure, but we can also do both if we want to. Really, we can very easily do both. Just love a wait and chat and music. Yeah. So let me let me keep an eye on things and let's see how this moves. Yeah, Runaway Railway is 65, so that's going to take a while. Okay. Rise is 85. I mean, that's not horrible, but I think this is our best bet right now. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if we want to do Phantasmic now or later. Or if we want to do 8 or 9.30 or both. Journey of Water just opened. That's awesome. So I'll be uh, Epcot for Tranquil Tuesday. I will be back on Tranquil Tuesday here in a little bit, so uh, here in a few days, so definitely stay tuned for that, but... Also, uh, again, I've got that Halloween relaxing stroll, fall relaxing stroll at Magic Kingdom coming up, so definitely check that out as well, please, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Hey, DNA family. Hey, Shannon. Hello, Mr. Disney World. Hide your face. Air supplies at Epcot. That's cool. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Russell just booked an October 2024 trip at Fort Wilderness. Nice. Hey, New England Coastal. Nine thirty will work, but it's your call. Okay. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it. I like the 9.30 because uh, there's less people there and we can get a better seat, so. <laughs> but also, um, you know, because it's Fantasmic's anniversary, we could do both, so that's fine too. 
looks like we're about to actually move. Oh wow, Suzanne Summers had breast cancer for 23 years. Wow, what a what a survivor, brave brave person for sure. Well, she definitely did some really really awesome TV stuff, and hopefully she <coughs> is uh, in a better place and not in pain, and so that's good. Yeah, we lost a lot of uh, celebrities this year. It seems like. So we could do both. I mean, especially with the lines as crowded as they are now, we could do both. Or we could do, you know, who knows? Or we could do more, um, you know, more rides. So we'll see what happens. No more 2, 2 p.m. park hopping. Yeah, so that starts in January. Yep, we've got a little bit of time for that, but that does start in January, so. <clears throat> Not now, unfortunately. <laughs> so glad to see a live stream from you all. I've been having Resort TV on live stream withdrawals. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I couldn't go live yesterday because uh, my friend was there and we went to Halloween Horror Nights and had an amazing time, but couldn't go live yesterday, but was able to do it today. So that was good. <clears throat> But we, we did really we had a lot of fun at Halloween Horror Nights last night. We went to seven houses. That was crazy. Seven houses. Uh, we got in there early and uh, just started knocking them out. It was good. And we saw the show there too, the Nightmare Nightmare Fuel show. Um, I see now why we can't. Um, I see now why we can't show that on the stream. <laughs> Definitely not family friendly. Hashtag not at all family friendly. But yeah. Hey Dan, 2000 Dan LB, hello. Dan sent me a um, video that, that I had ironically enough found just very, very uh, about the same time of restoration of this computer that I got from David, uh, DMB David, so it's really cool. Dan, I wish you lived closer. You could come, you could come, uh, come help me with the restoration. I would, I would love to have a second set of hands and a second set of eyes for sure. But that's all right. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to come down to Florida and not go to Disney and just just uh, help me on a computer. <laughs> all right. Hey, Disneyland, did you know they were showing animated short for the 100th anniversary tonight before Encanto? No, I didn't know that. I didn't know they were showing Encanto at all. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, we're moving pretty good, actually. When will Jenna have a uh, live stream? Um, I don't know. Soon. All right. Oh, we did see a super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, $5 from JL. Um, Halloween Town Marathon on YouTube. Cool, JL. Thanks for being here. Yeah, JL, I'm sorry about that. I didn't see it. <clears throat> but, yep, just read it, so you should be hearing it in a minute. If you'll pay my ear for it. I know, Dan. I wish I could. I totally would. Totally would. Wouldn't be a bad deal, right? And part of that restoration involves maybe stripping the paint off of the computer, so that'll that would be that'll be kind of above my experience level, but we'll see. I'd be able to do it. HHN is um, the Halloween Horror Nights. It's more the horror side of Halloween. It's really interesting for sure. <clears throat> that nightmare um, nightmare fuel show. Crazy pyrotechnics, acrobatics, all kinds of crazy things. They did this one thing where there's a girl who's going to go to bed and have a nightmare, and she gets, they switch her with a guy who's part of the nightmare, and they switch him, and you can't tell how they did it, even in slow motion if we watched a video of it. Crazy. <clears throat> like they just, there's like, they just flip a switch and she's gone. It's pretty cool. It's magic. <clears throat>
Who else is with me? Just me. Just me. Hanging out. Loving life. Yes, it was a Copperfield moment. I said that to my friend when we watched it. I was like, I was like, David Copperfield. It was so well done. And the thing was, we saw it live, so there was no TV magic or anything. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Johnny, no worries. very misty in here but it keeps you nice and cool also weather is crazy crazy tonight uh, 75 degrees it was a nice cool day perfect perfect last Tuesday 10 12 I waited in line for over a hundred minutes for Tower Terror and then half the ride broke down oh Craig I'm sorry to hear that yeah I'm not waiting that long either CMS I love watching your streams bring back lots of happy memories when I went on holiday there with my mom before she passed <clears throat> Well, I'm glad it seems us. I'm glad it brings up some happy memories for you. Yeah, that's right. Stefan Lee and did a vlog on their trip, so they'll be having some fun things to show you. So check that out. CMS two pounds. Thank you for the two pound super chat. Yeah, they did a vlog on the turnpike going down there, so that'll be fun to see. Liam even did some on his own camera. I don't know if Steph's going to put that into the main vlog or not, but you know, Liam Cam is always fun. Liam Cam is super fun. Hey dad, how are you? I'll see mom and dad tomorrow. I have full break, <clears throat> so I have the day off tomorrow. I know this isn't the most exciting use of time, but I feel like the other rides will start to go down in wait time later, and I'm happy to be able to do this one now and then maybe do some other ones later. for fall break every Monday. I know, right, Dan? Wouldn't that be great? a great queue to wait in, Phil. I agree. 100%. Hey, Jacob, what's the message, buddy? <laughs> I can read your chat directly too. But you don't have to pass it through dad. Picture so crisp. Thanks, Joy. That's awesome. Get the misty all over the place. <laughs> uh, I'm in between classes and excited because I can catch more live streams and watch all the way through. Thanks, Amy. That's very cool. Very cool. <clears throat> My friend's going to Disney tomorrow. That's awesome. Hopefully, we uh, can get through here. Not too bad. But yeah, we had a we had a great time at Horror Nights last night. It was really cool. I hadn't been in that many houses 
at all. And we got in early and we did two houses right off the bat. We did the unmasked one and then we did the um, um, Last of Us. That was pretty cool. I've done the, I did the Last of Us last time. And the only ones we didn't do were the Chucky one, which I just didn't care for. The Exorcist, and then uh, there was one more that we didn't do. Oh yeah, Chucky, The Exorcist, and Stranger Things. It's just too long. Uh, yes, I did see the Steam Us, the two pound super chat. Yep, thank you, Allie. So cool to see the Tower of Terror too, because I'd never go on it, Kelly says. <laughs> Mickey's on the Sorcerer outfit. That's awesome, Jacob. <laughs> I see him. How are you? Oh, yeah, the Fast Pass is even starting to get backed up. The Genie Plus. You can see the Genie Plus is the second line over there. One more sleep for our trip to Disneyland, Paris. Oh, wow, Robert, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't get Genie Plus today. I just, sometimes I can do that and we can go through rides quicker, but I don't always want to do that. Not too often. That would be a hard pass on the Exorcist one. Yeah, there was the scariest one, believe it or not, was the Yeti one. He was very tall, very big, and very much right in your face a lot. The witch, there was a witch coven one too that was just really interesting for sure. So. Oh, next week, see him, that's awesome. Hey, Shadow Dragon, hey, Vicky. Yeah, it's not bad to wait in line, is it, Dan? Yeah, we don't do um, we don't do character meet and greets very much just because it is a long standby. It's just I'm just not as interested in that honestly. It's not a great thing on the stream because you wait and wait and wait, and then you get like a 30 second interaction and then you're done, and it's just kind of anticlimactic. So I, and don't get me wrong, I'm not downing character interactions at all. I think they're wonderful for the memories that you create while you're there and you actually get to be the one that meets the character. But I think when you're on a stream, it's not just not my favorite thing to do. And some people do it, and that's great, but. As for me, I'm not as big of a fan of it. I love these trees, though. How do they do Tron Virtual Queue for parties? So, RJ, they have a Tron Virtual Queue, I believe, that starts at 6 or 7. Does anybody know what time it starts? It starts right when the party starts, basically. Hello, CMOS. Yeah, good to see you. Thanks again for the uh, super chat there. The Yeti is Harold the Yeti from Matterhorn's cousin. Yeah, he was a lot nice. He's a lot meaner Yeti for sure. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> hey, Diamond Diva, show more trees. You want you want more trees? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yes, they are. They're all real uh, oak trees. It's cool too how they let it they let it like overflow, overgrow. Oh, they want to know how Murray's doing. Yep. Doing fine the last time I saw him. A little bit. Uh, Friday, I was with my friend. Um, we went to Disney Springs, and he came up from... Uh, he lives a few hours away now in South Florida, so we came up to visit, and uh, he stayed with us overnight, and uh, some his kids stayed with us too, and we just had a great time. That's why I didn't do a Saturday stream either. Next week, it'll be back to normal. We just crossed the thousand mark. Everybody, make sure you hit the like and share us out. I didn't post this stream early, so people may not know we were streaming. A lot of people said that they didn't know, so um, we don't usually stream on Sunday. So, yeah, definitely uh, share us out and, and um, hit the like, all the things, so YouTube notifies everybody. Mimi Carroll, you're very welcome. No, was there a Yeti sighting in Colorado? That's crazy. Or Sasquatch or whatever you want to call it. 
Bir bentam So basically, once we go around here and back into the front, we'll be there. It won't be that long. Nancy, you're very welcome. Doesn't it look like you're in a, like a, not like a theme park, but actually a, like a music park type thing. So these are, you got the evergreen up there. I'll point out my favorite trees. You got oak trees. And then over here, I believe that's kind of like either an ash or a beech tree. I don't know which one that one is. I know the, I know the one right in front of me is an oak tree. Dad, you'll have to help. <laughs> Dad's the, Dad's the plant expert. Hey guys, be nice. Don't argue with each other in the chat. We don't need arguing. We just need having fun. It's a cool shot. Look at this. Here, hold on. It's like we're just in the woods, and oh wait, there's this giant tower. What's that about? <laughs> That's right, Kelly. Here's a tree. Here's another one. Hello, beautiful mouse cow. How are you? This wonderful, beautiful evening. And we stayed at Holiday Horror Nights till 1.30 last night. We almost closed it down, which is rough, but it was fun. Super fun. Yeah, Michelle, absolutely. It's my pleasure. <laughs> All right, Wika, we'll see you later. Watching your stream and playing some Switch. Awesome, Kyle. I just need to have the Pats beat the Raiders today. Oh. <laughs> I've never been much of a Patriots Patriots fan because I used to be, a, you know, not I, I still am kind of a casual Colts fan, but they're not. They haven't been very good for a while. The Patriots and Colts are like sworn enemies. <laughs> oh, and there's like a there's like a palm tree just kind of hiding in there. Sunday stream is a nice way to end the weekend. Thanks, Emma. The rumors the golf courses in Atlanta were all busy Saturday since the Braves had nothing to do. <laughs> Poor Braves fans. I'm not a Braves fan, but I, yeah, I know I'm sure there are some in the chat. I'm a Cubs fan. <laughs> They're not in it either, though. But I'm a pretty casual sports fan, too, Kelly. I, I don't keep track of a lot of it. I know stuff from like previous seasons, but... Current seasons, not so much. I'm just not as interested in it anymore. I get why people are. I enjoyed it while I was interested, but I don't. I'm just not into it now. All right. Is that a balloon or a plastic bag or a poncho? What do you guys think? Balloon, plastic bag, or poncho? It looks more like a bag or a poncho. Dan says, go Phillies. You're very welcome, Lane. I'm glad to do the Hollywood Studios stream. Wait, are the Raiders good now? <laughs> it's been a while since that was the case. Go Retro Tech. Oh, thanks, Streamfinder. Uh, 
Jellyfish. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> Excuse me. Time for everyone's favorite game, balloon, plastic bag, or poncho. <laughs> I told you guys this was going to be a fun wait in line. It's what, it's what you make it. Okay, so in the chat, what games do you play when you're waiting in line to keep the to keep the time going? And I know some a lot of people, you know, just look at their phones now, but um, and that certainly makes sense. But think about even those of you who've been around the parks for a while. Um, let me know what you did even before cell phones were a thing, or let me know if you what you do now besides just have everybody look at their cell phones and play games or text or social media. What do you do? Balloon, look at the end where they blow it up. Uh, oh. It kind of does look like a balloon. Hold on. I don't have a very good view of it. I don't know. Few of the Raiders player, including the coach, are former Patriots. Oh, really? Wait, is Belichick the coach of the Raiders now? I'm way out of it. Oh, or maybe the coach is just a former Patriots player. We always just... Oh, Disney heads up. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Heads up, heads up. We just chat and plan our next move. 20 questions or there's like phone versions of the headband. Yep. A lot of people say heads up, heads up. Try to find one object for every color in the rainbow. That works, Mackenzie. I, we were waiting for Horror Nights to open and my friend and his family played um, I Spy. So that was fun. Climb up and see. Yeah, good idea. When we were teenagers, we started a TV theme song sing along with some college guys in line for Jungle Cruise. Rock, paper, scissors. Hey, Bit Ritz. Yes, it is a cool mist. Okay. I'm glad to hear everybody's strategies for passing time in line. Because that's just part of a Disney vacation. You're going to be in line, but it's, it's pleasant here. Okay, I will say they did a really, really good job with that, with, with the theming and the queue. Like, like, you know, how can you complain about being in line here? It's so nice and cool. We just watched Haunted Mansion. There's so many Easter eggs. That's amazing. <laughs> These plants stay nice and... Nice and hydrated. Uh, we see the eclipse, so not really where we were. I mean, I didn't have glasses, so I couldn't look up at the sun. I tried with the, I tried with the camera, but I didn't have a good enough filter on the camera. So obviously, I like seeing, so I didn't try and look. But but um, also, um, but I thought, well, maybe even if I can't like look up at the eclipse, maybe I'll just see it'll get darker. But it didn't really at all. It was kind of like maybe like a little cloud was over the sun a little bit, but just barely. And I've been through eclipses before where even if you couldn't look up, it got very, very, like, dim outside. Not nighttime, just like twilight. 199 from Eli. Uh, Sluice, happy anniversary, Fantasmic. That's right, Eli. Thank you for the super chat. We appreciate it. Appreciate your support. Happily Ever After started in 2017. 2017. It was too cloudy. Oh, really? Now, it was, it was clear sky like this here, so we could see it. But I couldn't tell any difference. Did anybody else see a difference? I know it was like better out west. We were probably too far east to really see it. I want to go back to my hometown, you know, Vincennes. Uh, it's going to be right in the path of the total eclipse in, in April. The rocket launch was pretty cool. I saw that Saturday whenever we were driving into Springs and Jenna showed it on the stream. We're getting close, guys. Ish. Or at least on the little home turn here. How are they going to transform it for Jollywood Nights? I've heard, um, Wendy, that they're going to put a band um, in the foyer in the exit. Total Eclipse in April. It'll be almost total. That's awesome, Dan. Yeah, my hometown is, is in the is in the band of total. So I saw the Eclipse with some special glasses. That's awesome, Blue Polo. Yeah, I need to get some glasses for April for sure. Make sure I get the right ones that are that are approved and all that, so I don't ruin my eyes too rainy I was in North Carolina during the last eclipse it was like night and the crickets started chirping that's cool the yeah, clouds here no eclipse that's too bad yeah you never know it's 
So yeah, Dollywood Nights, by the way, um, we actually got invited to a media event for that. So um, for opening night on Dollywood Nights, <clears throat> that may mean we get to go to an extra one because we're going to switch off of the opening night. We're going to do our media event. We'll still stream, uh, but we're, we're not going to... Um, we won't stream like the the meet and greet part of it, but we will stream the um, we'll stream like the actual event. So it might not be a super early start, but we're gonna stream it. Some of the sun was covered by the moon about fifty percent. Okay, Blue Polo, that's cool. It said it wasn't gonna be very much here, so maybe that's why I just couldn't see it. It just didn't make that big of a difference. I mean, maybe maybe that's the that's the trick, I guess. Disappointed that I'm not streaming air supply. Sorry, I didn't even remember that they were there. I've been pretty busy, but um, Jenna was at Epcot on Friday, so I figured I'd do something different tonight. Yeah, and Jenna, of course, did a great job at Epcot, but I'm also going to be at Epcot Tranquil Tuesday, so yeah, I wasn't really planning around the concerts, but I like them too, so. Human eating plant? Yeah, feed me Seymour, exactly. I don't know anything about that. Kudzu apocalypse. <laughs> All right, Andrea, well, I hope you enjoy the other live stream of Air Supply. That's great. I'm glad somebody else is going to stream that for you. Very good. It worked, it worked out. This is Tower of Terror. Yeah, it's always nice to be invited to those events for sure. Haven't waited for less this long for Tower since I was a little kid. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know why. I just like came down here and started waiting. I didn't necessarily have to, but I just did it. I just did it. Hey Patricia, we're in line for a ride. We're in line for Tower Terror right now. Yeah, the media night's gonna be super fun. The helicopter. It's a chopper. Check the wait times now while we're in line here. <laughs> See if anything changed or updated. Wow, everything's getting worse actually, so I'm glad we got in line now. We may go do single ride on Falcon here in a little bit. That's one that we can do if the single's still open. If not, we'll just walk around. Oh, even Alien Swilling Saucer says 35. <laughs> That's crazy. We got tickets for Jollywood Nights the second. Looking forward to your seeing your stream. That's awesome, Chuck. Nobody we rather be in line with than Josh, making Sunday serene. Thanks, Stream Finder. I appreciate that. You're so kind. Well, I definitely um, definitely appreciate the kind words. And guys, def check out uh, www.streamfinder.com if you want to find more awesome streams for whenever we're not live here on Resort TV One. So thank you so much. Stream Finder and Jacqueline says I thought Disney was a no-fly zone. I mean, technically it is, so I don't know. That must have been somebody with special clearance. It's a no-fly zone below a certain level, and I don't know what. I can't remember. I can't ever remember what the certain altitude is. Hi, Hannah. Thank you for all the hard work you put in. Love having your videos on. Thanks, Santa. Now, some of those sightseeing helicopters are allowed, uh, and they have special clearance to do that because they're, you know, they're back security checked and all that kind of stuff. There's so many times I live local and can visit the parks anytime, but I also love living in Maine. Yeah, Maine sounds like a cool place to live for sure. Hey, Bit Ritz and Finley. Hi, Finley. <laughs> if you're having a good day, I know what kind of tree this is. The leaves on that one are all serrated, separated. Huh. Let's play name that tree. 
I've got the clearance clearance. Have any new streamer vlogs coming up? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. I haven't really been able to film anything, but I do have tomorrow morning a relaxing stroll coming out. So at 9 a.m. tomorrow, there is a um, Main Street USA fall stroll. So definitely go check that out. At 9 a.m. right here on Resort TV One. My first relaxing stroll for a while. People have been asking for one, so you got it. A nice relaxing stroll with Halloween decorations. No talking, just walking around and listening to the music and the crowd and everything. Just enjoying, enjoying some uh, ambiance and people screaming in my ear. <laughs> Just kidding. That was just now. All right, it's time for everyone's second favorite game name. That tree, that's right. Not below 3,000. Thanks, Mark. Is it a fur? Yeah, I don't know. Kind of looks like one, but then it kind of doesn't. You can fly through the TFR, providing you're in communication and authorized by ATC. Okay, thank you. I figured there was some way you could get authorization. You just can't, like, go willy-nilly flying through. Maybe it's like... You have to file your flight plan and be like, I'm just going straight through. Like, there's no, you know, whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, no, Steph, does, Steph has a vlog coming up, but it's not like a behind the scenes or anything. We'll do one eventually. Thank you, Josh, for saving the weekend with another RTV One stream. Giving everyone the real Disney experience, making the most of a long line. Thanks, Stream Finder. Yeah, it really is the real experience. You know, sometimes when you come to a park like this, you have a couple choices. You can either pay for the Genie Plus, which I could have done, but I did last week and decided not to do this week. Or you can uh, wait in line and like Stream Fighters said, make the best of it. Enjoy. Enjoy the ambiance. Like, that's a great view. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that view. So we enjoy. 35 minutes. Thanks. Yeah, we're not going to make it then by 45 Did not know it was Fantastic Mix Anniversary. Okay. The flight restriction goes up to about 30, 30, 3,000 feet, so about 2,800 above ground. And yes, you can get clearance if you know the right people. Okay. There's so many times that I wish I was local to visit the parks. I needed my Disney fix, but I also love living in Maine and having our natural beauty. Yeah, for sure. Sergeant Coat. Clearance is up to ATC. Yeah, well, yeah, they're in charge of the airspace, so that makes sense. Now, which air traffic control controls that? Is that, <laughs> these guys, like I did that? Which, which air traffic control does, like, jurisdiction? Is that Orlando or is that whatever airport's closer? Well, that's awesome, Eddie. Adam and Kristen are good people. And then Ron's here somewhere, too. We'll have to see him later. Progress. This is so cool. You need no clearance. I get the clearance. Get the clearance, right? Look at that. You don't notice that stuff when you're not in line here. Orlando oh, approach on that airspace. Okay, I figured that's how it goes. Yes, we are going to do the Fort Wilderness Halloween decorations. I believe it's on. I don't know what day. Hold on. It's next week sometime. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday the 25th. So hopefully there's enough decorations up by then. I may have to go back on the weekend and see it. Just take the bus out there if I can. You get the vectors from Victor and the clearance from Clarence. That's what I've heard. I've heard that's the best way to go. Uh, no, they added the fog effects, yes. So you can see the foggers right up there. It's actually not that humid. Hi, robot coach. How are you? Hey, Noel. Yeah, so we're definitely going to do Fort Wilderness, whole family. That'll be great. Yeah, I think they turn these off when it gets cooler. Look at that. You see the little lo you see the little logo there? Isn't that cool? 
Oh, there's one here too. <laughs> Shirley, you can't be serious. Yes, I am, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> right, Martin? <laughs> I love it. It's all those funny names that you can you can mess around with. You gotta change the diaper. I remember those days well. Hollywood Tower Hotel. Because remember, this is not, obviously nobody would have ever stayed here if it was called the, the Tower of Terror. This, the story is this was called the Hollywood Tower Hotel. So we're almost in. Hey, Goofy. The Blooming Vines are your head is called Bougainvillea. Interesting. I hope I said that right. Bougainvillea? Bougainvillea? I don't know. Um, Ashley Stenzel, $2. Happy Sunday, Jesus Football and Disney. Go Bills. Awesome, Ashley. Thank you so much. The real benefit of long queues at Disney, the details I pick out. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I usually don't get to, like, enjoy that kind of stuff. So, you can see a lot of ornate decoration here. Oh, we're going underneath. And I love these light fixtures. Very cool. Well, ice fog machine. We don't really need that. It's actually nice and cool already. Was the sunlight more intense yesterday? I didn't notice that for sure, but could have been for some people. But we also had a great time playing mini golf yesterday at Universal. They have that golf course there, which is super fun. <laughs> oh, hi, how are you? Good. What's that? Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> it is. And I decided uh, today of all days not to do uh, Genie Plus, but it's like, you know what? We'll just enjoy the queue. Oh, you guys got the Genie Plus, so that's good. <laughs> you too. Have fun. Yeah, Eric, that would be great to go to Alani sometime. We'll see what happens. You know, never say never. Group of scared drafts called a Tower of Terror. And Dad said the Tower of Terror should be Boo again, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's just training Universal Mini Golf. It was super fun. I, I think we will next time, Dan. It's not cheap, but none of the Mini Golf is anymore. You used to build a Mini Golf around here for like 10 bucks, and now it's like 20 one of my favorite things to do for Halloween and New Year's is to enjoy the Twilight Zone marathons on TV. It's such a classically good show, and every episode is just that special kind of eerie. That's awesome, Joy. I haven't seen any. Patricia, you must not be watching the stream. <laughs> We're in line for Tower of Terror right now. Maybe she's watching a different stream. <laughs> But we do have to wait in the line. I'm sure you know how that works. We can't just can't just skip the line. <laughs> Gotta wait in the line. Kind of a pleasant wait. It's a pleasant wait in chat. I like it. I'm here for it. So what do we do after this? Check the wait times here. Ooh, Falcon went way down to 20, but we can also do single rider there. So, and tower is 85 minutes now. Well, we're definitely not going to be waiting 85, but it's going to be way longer than what we thought. So, that's fine. Yeah, it is a crazy increase in mini golf price. It used to be an affordable family activity. You're right. Um, hey, Noel, how are you? And Leaf is here. Hi, Leaf Watson. Imagine that low-lying grave fog from the movies, but pouring through the bushes in the garden. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing. I think that's why they've done it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty cool. 
I enjoy queue lines most of the time. I mean, the reward at the end is what you're there for. What's the alternative? That's right, Matt. Just walk around. Oh, hey, Leslie. <laughs> I saw a clip of the zombie drummers at the Disney Springs. They are so good and hilarious. Oh wow, Joy, I have not seen them. I'll have to do that. Oh yeah, Lady Jammers. No, I went in time Patricia out because I don't know. I gotta, gotta move on from that. Obviously we're in line for it, so. <laughs> Oh, that's good, Robot Coach. I'm glad you guys get to play as a family. And you know what? Teenagers usually will play golf and have fun with it. It's a fun game. It's competitive. How many mulligans do you allow? Stuff like that. We're pretty loose. We have a one mulligan per hole rule. <laughs> Although that's, that's loosely enforced anyway. Hi, Corporate Box. Tower Terror has the best theme out of any Disney ride. So it's pretty cool. We'll say Pirates has a great queue, too. Plymouth Rock says Disney has a 100th anniversary special. Nice. Hey, Tay. Dancing Megan's. I didn't see those this time. She's creepy, man. She's extra creepy. Yeah, Robert, this ride definitely has its ups and downs, for sure. We used to play mini golf by us, and cars would drive by, uh, drive by and honk horns and wave in frozen custard. Now, that's fun. Yeah, we used to do that, too. Jacob might be at Fantasmic. Nice. He's even creepy during the day. Yeah. Yeah, they had some good stuff there at Horror Nights. If you like that kind of stuff, like, it's well done. That, that Nightmare Fuel show was insane. It's absolutely insane. Again way not family friendly I mean the, the the outfits is more like a burlesque show so it's very well there's not a lot of clothing so anyway but it's it's definitely adult in nature but it's it's very such a well choreographed show there's fire everywhere there's um, this sparklers eating fire special effects pretty cool show Hi, Robert. Robert Allen, hello. Ahoy, Christopher Block, how are you? And thank you, by the way, for the, um, don't make me walk the plank, never. Thank you for the uh, PayPal yesterday. I got it and I sent it to Jenna. <clears throat> and I know she read it, so thank you for that. As always, appreciated, very appreciated. Oh, it did kind of look like Pirates at first, Christopher. When we were doing this, I could see how you could mistake it for Pirates. The lanterns are very similar. Also, this palm tree, it's like a royal type poem. I don't know what you call it, but like huge. Love that kind. It's my favorite. And those flowering vines. We said bougainvillea or bougainvillea, something like that. They did a tip -top, tip top club party. Joy, I think they're going to do something like that for the uh, Jollywood Nights. Leaf, how was your friend's visit? It was really nice. I had a great time. A lot of fun. It was built in 1917. <laughs> but not really. More like 1990. Three or four. 
as nice as Lightning Lane is, but I think you miss a lot of great details. You do, and this is one of the cues. Like, like so many people have already said, it's got great, great, great detail. Agree. Look at that too. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, walkway there. Or uh, porch. My wife had a great time at Disneyland Paris. However, she does prefer Disney World. My daughter mentioned that the fireworks in Paris were incredible. Awesome. Am I going to ride Alien? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how the wait times develop along the way here. Our son Tower, Jeremy, got us a lobby tour when we were there. Oh, wow, Karen, that's awesome. I would love a lobby tour. Speaking of which, here we are. Enjoy the lobby, everybody. We had to like run through there. That's clever. If I can see the floor, there is room for more. Still, I can't get started. Look at the elevator too. The just the the detail on the elevators there is so good. That kind of looks like eyes or something. Doesn't it look like, like a creepy face right there. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I love just the cracks in the plaster and everything. It's just so realistic. Oh, here we go. I love that voice. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is so 
somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. Great. We had a whole room full of people and everybody's pretty quiet during the show. You could really hear it. All right, let me put the, oh, we should be able to put the quality back up now. A little potato mode there, just to make sure there was no lag. Dude, this is not bad in here. I'm so glad we did this. It was a long wait, but it's like worth it. You got, you know, you the payoff. Okay, I never go left, I always go right. So I'm gonna go left. That's right, Leslie, off to the boiler room. There we go. <laughs> Tomorrow's, oh, tomorrow is the tw is the hundredth hundredth birthday, that's cool. <laughs> I feel like when you, that's one of the things about it. I feel like when you are, I feel like when you're waiting a long time like we did now, that it's like a payoff, you know what I mean? Like actually getting to ride the ride is a payoff and it's like, from, you know, for, for your effort. 85 minutes now. Yeah, anyway, actually getting to ride the ride is a huge payoff and I love it. Hey David, how are you? Welcome in. Glad you guys are here. No worries about being late. You can come anytime. Anytime. It's worth the wait. That's right, Stream Finder. I agree. Oh, the low light on this phone is so good. What app is that? Oh, that's the yeah, My Disney My Disney Experience app. Oh wow! A very 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 generous PayPal um, from Sarah. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> uh, Sarah just sent us a one hundred dollar PayPal, and she said, "Hold on." She said, it was an absolute pleasure meeting you tonight in the Tower of Terror queue. Thanks for everything you do from Sarah Does Disney. Wow, Sarah, that was the, was the lady we met right before the ride. Um, I didn't know she wanted to be on camera or not. Sorry, Sarah, if I didn't get you on camera there. But, but a very, very generous super chat there, or PayPal, with $100 on PayPal. And the cool thing is, um, because she sent it on PayPal, we get to keep like $95 out of that. The fees are so low. So really, really cool. So thank you so much, Sarah. Also, look at those old radios and things. It's a little clock right there and an old radio. My birthday is Disneyland's birthday. Nice. So this actually is a Zenith. It even says Zenith right there. You can't really see it, but I saw it. Okay, hold on, guys. Let's see where we get in here. Perfect. How many here? One. Oh, good night, Finley. He's <laughs> got a big day. Yeah, so thank you, Sarah. Sarah does Disney. Thank you, Sarah. So nice. Thank you. 
Oh, it's nice to be in the back. I know my screen doesn't bother anybody. I'll just be in the back corner here. That'll be a-okay. Okay. I always grab the wrong side. Here we go. All right, enjoy the ride, everybody. And again, big thank you to Sarah. In the back corners where the seatbelt failed, I love it. <laughs> Chantel says my daughter's favorite ride. That's awesome. I like it too. Gotta wait a second. Hopefully everything's good. Fingers crossed, everybody. Oh, did Is have a sleepover? <laughs> That's interesting for sure. You are the passengers on the mission from an elevator about to ascend into your very own the twilight zone.
We trust your stay at the Hollywood Tower Hotel is delightful. Thank you. Do come back and see us again. Thank you. Alright guys, yeah, a little bit of lag, but... <laughs> and I had to switch to Wi-Fi guys, no worries. It happens. You gotta sign into the network here. Um, so unfortunately what ends up happening is if I forget to do that then it just takes an extra little minute or two on the stream but that's okay it's part of it part of the whole streaming process yeah a lot of just Halloween stuff not as much Tower of Terror stuff but they do have this beyond the fifth dimension thing a dimension of sound a dimension of sight a dimension of mind mind Love these bills. Of course, that lounge fly, not new, but it's still super cool. All right, what should we do now? If you didn't like it, was scary, okay. Hold on, let me get off the Wi-Fi to lag for a second. Looks like we're good now. Yep, all back. Okay, friends. Well. That was fun. Let's go stroll a little bit. I love that sign, isn't that fun? Watch. Yeah, it's fun. We could go to Batu. Yeah, we could go over to Batu here in a second. Alright. Uh, sleep is definitely going to be a no-go because it's like 100 minutes or something. That would be like the whole rest of the stream, but I would love to. I would enjoy it. It would be awesome. Can't wait to hear the band for Jollywood Nights. Me either. There we go. We get my get my exposure set here. Perfect. All right. Checking some wait times here. So the first Fantasmic's at eight. The second one is at nine thirty. We'll probably we'll not we'll probably we'll definitely watch the nine thirty one. The question is whether we take the time to watch the 8 o'clock one or whether we just, you know, whether we <clears throat> just do the one. That is a decision we can all make together. Yeah. All right, let's just walk around a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll head in the direction of Smuggler's Run. You don't like purple? Mm -hmm. I'll take you on now, 8 o'clock showing of Fantasmic. Look at the sunset on that. Our standby entrance is going to be on the right-hand side. Dining for you just went in on the left-hand side. Rise is only 50? That's not bad. I thought about riding Rise tonight. Christmas week, yep. Christmas week is always super busy. I would bet Rise is going to be more than 50 once people see that. Everybody, anytime that thing drops under an hour, everybody runs over there. So, I could be wrong, but. Hey, Tesco George, it is beautiful. Love this music. There 
we go. Yeah, Slinky is really long, guys. I love that ride. I love it so much, but it's very long. Long wait. I don't know what the wait time is for it now. Pretty big. 120 for Slinky. Yep. Yep. There you go. Slinky. 120. So that's why we can't do that one. It's just too much. Santa Fe. Boom. Oh yeah, hit the like everybody. If you haven't hit the like, hit it. It's free. You can also subscribe. Just recently hit 183,000 and we're looking forward to 184,000 and eventually 200. Sorry for the dad joke, I didn't see it, I'm sorry. Yeah, Jollywood's gonna be awesome. And this, this park is very magical at Christmas. Magic, of course, is the best at Christmas, but this park, you know, is, is really, really awesome at Christmas time. I mean, they all really do a good job, but this one's got that, just that Hollywood glitz and glamour and it's really, really fun. Oh yeah, Cars Land is on the west coast. That's true. Everybody rock and roller coaster, but it's just a it's just a show. It's fun though. So um, we should talk again about tomorrow. I have a relaxing stroll for tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I don't usually have videos on Monday. Usually that's Jenna, but I uh, Jenna told me she didn't have a video or her internet wasn't working, uh, and so uh, either way she wasn't going to post tomorrow, and uh, so. I had a relaxing stroll, I got ready, and um, I'd be grateful if you guys would watch it tomorrow. No problem, just watch it at 9 or whenever you can. So yeah, thanks everybody. So uh, it's been a while since I had a relaxing stroll. <laughs> hey, hey. That was a long hour. What, the Tower of Terror? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was fun, though. Because you walked up and it was like 45. Yeah, and then it was a whole hour. Yeah. But it was fun. Everybody was saying they enjoyed seeing the details, so why not? Oh, yeah, of course. But no, it's cool. But I was, it's one of those nights where I figured either you either got to get in line or you got to stroll. Just did Tower. Oh, go do some other single ride. That's what we were about to, that's what we were about to do. That's what I did. Yeah, I saw you doing that. I was like, that's a good call. I walked to Tower. I walked in the line. I was like, this won't take too long and then it was an hour but that's okay yeah, it was no. fun um surprisingly most people don't know about phantasmic tonight that's uh, 25 years 25 years yeah i didn't know either i just scheduled sundays for phantasmic so. you you always do sunday yeah. phantasmic i actually had i didn't tell the chat this run this on text everybody say hi, hi to ron by the way <laughs> we got josh everybody. yes <laughs> so um, i actually told oh well it was jenna i was texting jenna friday because we've got uh some some resort hoppers that wanted to meet me tonight and i was like She's where are you going to be? I was like, oh, Magic Kingdom. She's like, you don't have a party ticket. And I was like... Party ticket? I was like, party ticket? Oh, yeah, it's a Sunday. It's a party night. The problem is last We're not Sunday, going to Magic Kingdom. Last Sunday was the party night, or non-party night. Oh. There was no party last Sunday because it was a holiday. Oh. So they moved it to the holiday. Which is why it was open until 11 Sunday. Yes. See, I had to work Monday. Tomorrow is yeah. my fall break. I don't have yeah. to work tomorrow. So. <laughs> oh, it's, well. It's very confusing. The schedule has been changing on a weekly basis. Oh, yeah. No, it's... It's it, been... I'm glad for two Fantasmics. Now you're going to do both. We're yeah. still deciding, but uh, first I don't know. One probably going to be about thirty plus minutes before. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then uh, the second, second one, one, you probably could do like ten minutes before, and you'd be good. I might go in 20, 20 minutes before. Or so last time I did twenty minutes, and I got kind of right in the middle. Yeah, you did. So, yeah, yeah. so we'll see. I don't know, but the, uh, evening show, depending on how busy it is, sometimes you get that center seat. Yeah, it it's was really rare, nice. But it does happen. So we'll see. Tonight is much more busy than it was last last Saturday when I was here. Everybody park hopped over here. A bunch of people just said they're game for magic. Yeah. So it's going to be a little busy. Tonight. I didn't get the Genie Plus, so that means that we wait. It's like, what, $22 today or something? It was 23 last week. Okay, so 25 for magic. It's been 29 almost every day. 
Yeah, I'm so I'm like I can do it last week. I can't do it every week. So it adds up too quick. It does add up. But all right, all yeah, right, wait, from, yeah, yeah. I'll see you. Later. All right, good to see you. I'll see you around. <laughs> It's a fall break in Florida this week. Uh, yeah, depending on where you are. My school is. Hey, Matt Hatter. Ooh, speed up to 2x to catch up. That's right, Leslie. And even if you don't like the 2x, the 2x is too fast for some people, you can do 1.5. You just, of course, don't catch up as fast, but you can do that. It works out just wonderful. All right, I'm not getting in line for this, but let's just see what it looks like. Whoa, bubbles. <laughs> ah, so peaceful, peaceful evening tonight. What one of the best snacks? I don't know. I like chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> but I don't like them as well here. So I'm not, I don't know. I'm not a big snack person here. I mean, they got churros. They got, you know, those kind of things. But <clears throat> I'm not a big, like, Brownies, cupcakes, and desserts person. How 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 is it 75 minutes? It's not out in the rope there. I'm confused. Oh, oh the okay, I see why now. The lightning lane's backed up. Anytime the lightning lane's backed up, you know I understand they have to clear it because people paid for that. So you're gonna wait longer. Alright, Johnny, see you later. Minor blips. Let me try something here. Yeah, guys, I got an airplane mode. Hold on real quick. Because I never switch back after tower. Give me just a second, guys. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. I just did a little reset. A little connection reset, and we're good to go. 70 minutes. Like, it's just barely outside. I'm confused. I'm not going to do it, but I'm just confused. <clears throat> I think everybody's going to Fantasmic. Yeah, it was intentional lag. Used to be a baker. The sweet stuff doesn't do it for me anymore. Yeah, that is sad. Get some thumbnail pictures here real quick. Nice, I like that one. I just like getting different angles of like the the um, Chinese theater here because it's the icon of the park, and you know it's better sometimes to put the icon in the thumbnail, but it doesn't have to be the same every time. So, and I sometimes have this habit of putting things the same every time. Yeah, that's good for now. Let's scroll. Just hit the like button. Thanks, everybody. <clears throat> All right, let's go down to Galaxy's Edge. This might get less later. All right, so what do you guys want to do? Should I make a poll? You guys want to do two Phantasmics or just one? It's up to you. It is the 25th anniversary, so... One of my favorite thumbnails is going right up to Cindy's and getting the clock near vertical. Yeah, that's fun too. That's fun too, David. <clears throat> rise is still showing 50. Okay. Well, so if we do rise, we're definitely not doing two Phantasmics. Um, because, you know, we wouldn't make it back in time. Because an hour, say that they're say that they're right, 50 minutes. Well, then the, the attraction itself is like over like 10, 15, something like that. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway. The Golden Bachelor. All right. Cool. So you let me know, one or two. You let me know. Definitely gonna do the late one because it's just less busy, we'll get a better seat, but we can do this, we can do the early one too. <clears throat> I'm only seeing a couple people for, I'm kind of curious now if I do a poll. Let me see if I can do a poll real quick. I'm seeing mostly ones though. I'm just curious to see how far, how far uh, skewed it is. It is like almost a little chilly right now. Crazy. Let's do what Josh wants. Well, there you go. I think I skewed the data because I said we, could, we couldn't do Rise if we rode Phantasmic. <laughs> or if we watched Phantasmic. We can't ride Phantasmic if we watch Phantasmic. I think I skewed the data. Hold on, guys. Uh, that's perfect. It's trying to see. <laughs> My phone's trying to super chat itself. All right, so. Thanks, phone. Um... 
how many fan phantasmics one <laughs> sounds like the eye doctor or two there you go all right vote it up guys vote it up one or two three or four <laughs> it's my eye doctor man Eye doctors are awesome. Is this better or is this better? That's right. Where are we at? One is winning quite handily with 134 votes in. What's your thoughts about Disney rising the price of tickets? I, you know, it's like anybody else. I mean, I'm probably sure I don't, I don't have a hot take on this. <clears throat> Obviously, more expensive is not better, but people keep paying it, so it's gonna keep going up. Until the crowds go down, the tickets will keep going up because, you know, Disney is a business. They wanna make money. Also, the cost of everything goes up too. So it's, you know, um, Again, without getting political, I think, you know, inflation is definitely kind of a never-ending cycle. And so, you know, you, you it, it's all cyclical. So if, if the goods and services that Disney provides cost more, they're going to have to charge more, you know. And then they have to pay people more because the people have to be able to afford the goods and services. And so, you know, it's this whole thing. That's your economics lesson for the night. <laughs> oh, sad. Balloon. Bye-bye, balloon. So, again, that's not to get political. I'm not saying... You know what the solution is or who's to blame or whatever i'm not doing that you can watch that on the news all day long but what i am saying is that's what happens this has been your economics lesson for the day so i'm not surprised that they raise the prices because they still need to turn a profit they're a business they still need to pay their people um they still have to buy the goods and services that have gone up so anyway if that makes sense i think i did i did okay did i do okay explaining that without being political <laughs> Anyway. Hey, Ginger. I watch Disney news because it's nicer than regular news. It sure is, yeah, and there's been a lot going on, and we're not going to go into that right now, but just thoughts and prayers for everybody affected by very, very bad things going on. So, and we'll leave it at that. This is your escape. And I don't want anybody to mistake the fact that we don't go over those things to mean that we don't care. We do care. We care a lot. We've had people accuse us of not caring. Um, like somebody tweeted me once saying, you know, why didn't I cover this, that, or the other news story? Because it was it just that I didn't care. And it was like, no, it's that we don't cover the news because we're supposed to be an escape from that. But yeah. Thanks, beautiful Mouseco. <laughs> just had to ride tower again with you. Nice. But I, that's, that's my thing is that, like, you know, we... We're supposed to be an escape from that. So it's not that we don't care. It's just that we're, we're trying to be, you know, there's, there's professional news sources you can turn to for that kind of stuff. And we'll, we'll, we'll keep it with Disney. So anyway, all right, moving on. As somebody, like I said, somebody tweeted me one time about that. And I was like, really? All right. Have you seen the Muppets 3D sense of projection character update? No, I haven't. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. So, yeah, so that's how I feel about it. Thanks, Lisa. It's our pleasure. Our pleasure. Let's see what we're looking at here. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, the uh, queue doesn't look too bad at all. Good take, Josh. I can't. I come onto the, situ the station not to hear about Disney, not to hear about the news. Yep, and there, you know, there are lots of wonderful places you can you can go see the news. Um, you know, and, and like I said, they they're going to do a way better job covering it because they have the resources to get get it right. 
I wouldn't want to cover something important like that and get it wrong. I don't see that there's like this big... I don't see that there's this big line right now. Well, it's probably like just right inside. Probably is 50. Uh, I don't know what to do. All right. Let's walk around a little bit. I don't know that I want to spend another 45 minutes in line right this second. I think let's walk a little bit. And I also need to take a quick little restroom break. And now my my uh, actual um, my VRB is working again, so that's fun. Coconut cookie. Yep, not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> I I I did my you know have this diet going. I did my cheat yesterday when I was hanging out with my friend, and I had butter beer and all kinds of stuff and more than one Coke and all kinds of things. But tonight I'm being good. Yeah, uh, Phantasmic's not going to have the uh, animatronic dragon I, uh, at Disneyland. I am sad about that. Now, the one here, we'll still have ours, but of course it's not nearly as elaborate as the one over there. So you're the one over there as it was over there. All right. Hey, Raul, how are you? Chantel says, walking's great. Let me check on the... Uh, let me check on the, the poll here. Uh, okay, so 271 votes and it's 70 to 30 percent. I mean, I think that's pretty clear, right? I'll let it go for one more minute. Vote in the poll uh, if you haven't already done so, but I don't. I don't think that's going to change. <laughs> it's 70 to 30. That's pretty pretty definitive. Yes. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good. Hi, Twitter. It's YouTube, but close enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dan. What's that? So actually, if you keep going through this marketplace, you'll see the Millennium Falcon right in front of you. Yeah, have fun. All right, guys. You know what? Let's go do Smuggler's... Well, let's try to use the restroom before Smuggler's Run. <laughs> All right, let me do that real quick. And yes, I do have the BRB set up correctly. That's what I was going to say before those people kind of come in front of me and got all excited. All right. Hold on, friends. Well, for some reason... For some reason, I'm human and I make mistakes. <laughs> I set up the uh, BRB wrong last time <laughs> on Wednesday. Oh, you guys had a nice chat while I was away. Just a second. This is fun. Council member Josh, a shout out. <laughs> that looks cool on the stream. I'm always happy to help people. <laughs> Say, hey, maybe Mr. Blogger Man can help us. I was like, sure. Happy to help. <clears throat> happy to help. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, David, definitely I will do the light speed levers. <laughs> Good. 
Welcome back, everybody. Thanks, Leslie. Hey, Classy Disney Mom, how are you? I know you've been in here for a little bit, but I don't think I've said hi yet. So, hi. <laughs> I haven't tried a lot of the Ronto Roaster food. Jenna has, she likes it. She's done, I think, a video review of it at some point. Hopefully single's still open, we'll see. It's crazy. With, um... With every lineup for Fantasmic, how busy it is still in the park right now. Yeah, single rider's open, good. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. Well, let's not get in a hurry to get in Falcon Smuggler's Run here because, honestly, like, we might as well enjoy, enjoy Twilight here. Then we'll go in. Let's enjoy a few more minutes of Twilight. A squid Games. I, did, I haven't watched that. I know a lot of people have. I haven't watched it. Stream finds this hooray. Yeah, why not? It's beautiful here, isn't it? Here, let me... Sorry, I need to... I know you guys probably didn't notice, but I need to crank the quality all the way up again. Hopefully there's no lag. Oh, no worries, David. Autocorrect gets me all the time, literally. All the time. I'm hungry, Ronto sounds good, I know. All I have was some hot dogs and some chips before I left. Mansion Lover and Christopher Black are talking, talking tech, I love it. Tech talk. What happened to the X-Wing drones? They had them for the media event, which, you know, we didn't go to that one because we weren't as big then, but then they, I never saw them again, so I don't know. I guess they're too expensive to fly. Man, those would have been cool. Oh, wait a minute. No, they had like full-size, like, 
X-wing fitted planes that were up in the sky at some point. Uh, but yeah, as far as like little drones, uh, I don't know. That'd be super cool. You can get a cob salad to go at Brown Derby. Nice. The air is just so crisp and clear, guys. It's crazy. I learned from Britt that this is a Thai echelon. Oh, okay, George, yeah, no worries. I just know, I, don't, I didn't know anything about it, but that's cool. At Disneyland, uh, this is an exit to uh, another part of the land. So they have this here, it's funny, it goes um, over towards Toy Story Land, but obviously it's a, it's a back exit type thing, so. This is one of my favorite places to just stroll around though. And I think people like really hated on Star Wars Langston, didn't have enough rides and things, but you know, the whole just, people I don't think take time to appreciate just architecture of things and the, the building that happened. I mean, it really does look like you're, you're on a distant planet in a spaceport somewhere, you know? It's really cool, it really looks like you're on some version of Tatooine. Would it have been better if they would have just straight up made Tatooine? Probably so. But, you know, it's still really cool. Hey, James. It's been dark for almost an hour in Niagara Falls. Yeah, you guys are a lot further east than us, I guess. I love that they have, like, the technology for, like, light speed <clears throat> in Star Wars, but then everything's still connected by wires because of the, you know, the idea when the story was written, 1970s, you know, technology. But also it said a long time ago, right? It's just funny. So a lot of the shows I'm sure they're making now uh, about space and sci-fi, everything's wireless because everything, you know, everything now is pretty much, not everything, but a lot of things are wireless now. The other, <clears throat> the other part of that is um, I read a while back that a lot of early sci-fi movies didn't have anything on a screen. They didn't even think of showing data on a screen before. Apparently the lions are no longer a joke. Okay, good to know. Oh. I'll keep that in my keep that in my file of information. No getting sand in your shoes, I know, right? Let's go up this way. We don't often go by the scrap metal station here. Savis. I mean there's so many levels to it. Like here, look look for a second. You've got the immediate level. You've got the kind of like in the park level, like the the buildings here and then you've got that level the spires which are painted to look further away and it really looks nice on the camera two shifts of timeline yes yeah i agree that's 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 my thing they build it really cool i just think that they should have like asked more people before they did it that way that you know i think harry the harry potter wizarding world is so popular because it's actual areas from the movies and listen the imagineers had a great justification for it right because they said well, none of us were in those original stories, but these are our stories. But I think when it comes down to it, people just want to be in a story they can identify with. You like that it's not Tatooine. I hate sand. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's true. Tatooine has a lot. Of, I love how we're having a whole discussion about sand right now. It's awesome. You guys are so much fun. Yeah, Disney's Galaxy Edge took immersion to a whole new level. Because they had to think about it this way. They couldn't just build, like, sets to things. Like, you know, for the movies, they could just build one side of it. Like, for instance, they wouldn't have had, in a movie set, they wouldn't have had to build the back side of that. Just the front. But here, they had to build all four sides of it. Or all three sides, or, you know, all three, 360 degrees of it, basically, if it's not a square. One of the stormtroopers made my son's day by chopping, stopping and chatting. It made it so unique. That's cool, Amy. Tron, James said he was impressed by Tron. You know, I am too. I, like I said, I think the only complaint anybody ever has about Tron is just that it's too short. It's a wonderful ride. Pod racing ride would be so cool. And look at this too. So this actually is a valid pathway. You can walk back down into Savi's there. Well, 
welcome in everybody. There's a bunch more people joining us now. I know a lot of you probably didn't even know we were live. There are people watching football. I know it's a uh, it's a lot of people watching NFL. We don't usually stream on Sundays, but super fun. It's a gimbal. That's true. All right, let's go. Let's go do. Um, let's go do Smuggler's Run. So, but first, let's go ahead and end our poll here. I forgot to end the poll from earlier. Yep, still the same. We're similar. Sixty-four thirty-six. It's still the same. So, um, I'm going to end the poll, and um, we are going to watch one Fantasmic tonight. So, the idea would be to give you the best experience possible at one Fantasmic. So, we'll see. It's not a precise location, but there's no question there's Star Wars. I agree. I agree. In that case, I, I'm glad to hear different points of view on it. I think that's really cool. And I don't. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate it. I just would like have loved to see scenes from the movies. I actually really like it. Quite you know, quite the opposite. I really like it. It's a creative choice. I can't argue with somebody about a creative choice. You know, I mean, we can have our opinions, right? But it's a creative choice. And at the end of the day. Everything just looking up is so cool. All right, let's go ride. By the way, I hope you noticed. I hope it helped. I had the quality all the way up as we walked around just now. All right, here we go. Hi. Oh, you watch us? That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> That's cool. Did you guys hear that? Guys, they get Resort TV One on Batu. That's awesome. <laughs> Hi. Oh, that would have been cool, David, for sure. Okay, it's like straight up cold in here. Yes, we are going to do the Fort Wilderness tour. Um, not this week. Not not this coming week, but the week after Wednesday. Okay, you see everybody went that way. This is the move right here. Most people don't see that. <sighs> tips and tricks, guys, tips and tricks. Also, if this is your first time, do not do the single rider on any attraction the first time. You need to wait through the queue or do Genie Plus to get the full experience. This is just after you've already done it. You've already seen the show, it's the story, the whole thing. So I'm gonna be probably the only one here. Correct. Over here? Hey, gotcha. are intentionally loose so they make the noise just like you hear in the movies when the characters walk through the ship. So cool. I did not think I would see you again after the incident. You're braver than I thought. You will be intercepting a first order training shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. 
And as we always say here at the Naka Transport Solutions, get out of here and go make Hondo some money. <laughs> sentados y cuide a los niños. Gracias. All right, travelers, all cargo is going to go by our feet. Seatbelts buckle from the outside to the inside. Once those are in, go ahead and give a pull on the yellow strap. Just make sure that manufacturer is in. Excellent. And my engineers give a pull on the yellow strap. Awesome. All right, let's get the six of you out in the morning. Good luck. Good luck. Good job, engineer. Right, pilot. Push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left. Move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly up and push forward to fly down. Weapons are online. Damaging the Falcon is... Hey, not bad! Oh, wait, 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 my... 
Friends, I'm afraid we have picked up a hitchhiker. All right, scan the exterior of the Falcon for life forms. <laughs> you see, this happens sometimes when you travel through uncharted regions of the galaxy, much as I do. It is not. Whoa! -ho! Looks like we are ready to unload. Thanks for your help. Here's have a great night. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. All available. Text. We have a Corellian freighter that needs immediate transport back to the maintenance bay. This thing's seen better days. <laughs> better fix all that before the boogie season. That left. Left. That's pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to have to push it and then watch it. You don't even have to push it. Uh, the left, left pilot was way really, really low. <clears throat> it was like really skimming the bottom. Finally, the right pilot grabbed the controls and went up with it. It was fun though. Yes, yeah, so the ship does need some maintenance. Let me turn. Okay, yeah, we're. It's a little bit of bad signal in here. There's the Rathtar. So cool. and carbonite. Couldn't think of the word. All right. Excuse me. All right, friends. Well, that was super fun. Did you guys like that? Alright, let's see what we can do now. I mean, technically, we could still go on. <laughs> technically, we, we could still do um, the first Fantasmic, but we decided not to. So, uh, it's probably full by now, actually. But, well, let's go check the wait times here real quick. Good times, Mansion Lover, for sure. That was awesome. Uh, let's see here. Wow, everything's still really long. Tower's the shortest at 40. Uh, runaway Railway's down. All right, let's just stroll. Let's stroll through Toy Story Land and see what it looks like. Bye. <laughs> and so, I, I love riding that ride at night. It was really cool. There was, there was a computer glitch in there <clears throat> part of the time because uh, if you saw the screen shutter and you thought it was a stream, it was actually the, the, the ride itself. Galaxy's Edge will always be me as a special place. Yeah, it was like right here, right up here, David, where you guys had your you did your commercial right there. That was so cool. I would say that. that I would say that would definitely be your special place. Short Tours, 20 minutes. Star Tours is weird. We could wait through the whole line. I mean, we could wait through the whole line, even though it's 20 minutes or less probably. And sometimes they'll say, yes, you can film it. And sometimes they'll say, no, you can't. And whatever the person in front says is not necessarily a person. what the person says who loads the ride. So... I would love to do that. I just, I don't want to chance it today. Maybe one of these days. It's such a crisp fall evening. We have not had that in Florida for so long. <clears throat> and if you're just joining us in the stream, make sure that you hit the like button. Share us out. Subscribe if you're new. Also, so make sure we um, make sure you check out one of our awesome sponsors, MickeyTravels.com. If you want to book your next trip right here to Walt Disney World or any Disney parks, just check out MickeyTravels.com to book your next trip right here to Walt Disney World. MickeyTravels.com. Doesn't cost any more than if you booked the trip yourself. That's MickeyTravels.com. We also have Resort TV One Homes. If you want to find your dream home here in Central Florida, just check out ResortTV1Homes.com, brokered by eXp Realty. That's ResortTV1Homes.com, brokered by eXp Realty. 
you can find your dream home here in Central Florida. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there's no discounts on the houses. <laughs> that's, a, that's the housing market here in Florida for you. Rise just went down. Glad I didn't get in line for that. Sorry, late to tune in tonight. No worries, Sydney. Oh, they're having a rough time. Hey, Kevin Sparrow, how are you? Kevin, I saw your uh, Twitter post um, today and just want to say that you're in our thoughts and prayers, my friend. I uh, can't even begin to imagine, but I just want you to know we're with you. So that's, uh, I know that probably doesn't help very much, but hopefully it helps a little bit. Hey, Joey's World. I'm glad you have lots of great memories with him. <laughs> Carbo box, no resort TV and coupon code for a house. No, unfortunately not. Would well, that be crazy if I said that on an ad? You can get 10% off your house. Like, that's like, that's like serious, right? Like, if you get a $400,000 house, that's like $40,000. <laughs> uh, 10% off seems like, you know, such a small thing sometimes when you're talking about 10% off a, a $5 Coke or something. <laughs> 50 cents, but when you're talking about a house, yeah, that's so funny. <clears throat> By the way, I love this music. We never take the time to enjoy it. And it's actually very, it's very, it fits in with the night, this calm evening vibe. It actually has a little bit of a Harry Potter vibe too, but it's just this beautiful evening. You can get 0.025%. Oh, I'm so glad, Kevin. Waiting on transportation to studios. Yeah, Louie, we'll, we'll see you here, my friend. You know how to find me. Yeah, good to see our friends, Joey's World. I don't know, isn't it just like so peaceful? It's like there's this hushed silence over the place at night. It's so neat. <laughs> what if you buy two or three houses? Yeah, buy one, get the second one 50% off. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? BOGO houses. But being super serious, uh, you know, obviously there's there's no no discounts on the houses, but our expert realtors will definitely help you find something that's in your budget and will of course help you through the whole process of you know the negotiation and everything else to make sure you get what you're looking for. I love when the parks get quiet at night. It is. It's just this moment of serenity. Thanks, Allie. I don't know why a lot of my streams, maybe it's not a bad thing, but I don't know why a lot of my streams end up being Welcome like tranquil. Boys. Prepare for maximum fun. Ooh. Rest assured all activities here I like fun. are age appropriate. I like fun. <laughs> I saw a guy on the way in. I, I was walking up from the parking lot and he had a shirt on. It was grumpy. Um, you know, seven dwarfs grumpy. And he said, uh, and the shirt said, was grumpy and he said I had fun once it was awful <laughs> I got a kick out of that I had fun once it was awful oh, yeah Doug we did uh, we did smugglers run already that was fun I had to be a little bit careful how I do the real estate ads because there are laws about it. But I don't think there's laws against joking as long as, as long as people understand what's going on. Name is Serenity. Like what, what did Christopher say? 
Hey, Mr. How are you? Oh yeah, he's honoring. Yep, Christopher's honoring his wife by by um, by sending out the uh, her stuffed animal collection, her Disney stuffed animal collection, to uh, deserving resort hoppers and other people in the community. Super, super awesome. Oh, Christopher, sorry to hear that the Children's Hospital wouldn't call back. Yeah, sending sending a lot of the. Uh, a lot of the stuffed toys to a children's hospital would be would be amazing, and you'd know that they would be loved. Oh, Alan is so, so um, so appreciated for sure. By the way, Jenna was on the Disney Parks blog in front of this uh, particular spacecraft. All right, we're getting close to eighteen hundred people watching. <clears throat> Hang on. <laughs> I wonder if Slinky like really is as long as it says it is. It could be like super crazy. Usually at eight o'clock, I will say usually after eight o'clock, the lines are not going to be what they say they are because a lot of people are phantasmic. I just wish this park stayed open until like ten or eleven. I think you could really get a lot done, but I'm sure it wouldn't be worth it, worth the money for Disney to keep it open that long. But I would like it. <laughs> I know that's not a good reason to do anything. <laughs> Josh would like it, so you have to do it. <laughs> They're like, who, who, who now? <laughs> uh, Barbara, yeah, please don't use all capital letters for our friends with listening devices um, or speech-to-text readers, but, um, but yes, um, you can ride whatever rides I ride with me, always. I don't know, no, I think this is going to still be pretty long. Less, but... Uh, it's not. Yeah. It's going down, but it's not going down that much. Uh, can't tell. I mean, that part's always filled up over there, but it's really hard to tell. Oh, sanitizing the toys? Yeah, that I don't know. I don't know what the rules and protocols are on that. Yeah, I, it's, it's hard to tell. And Mara said you retired. Uh, good retired. Baseball season's, baseball season's officially over. Well, congratulations, and Mara, that's super awesome. Okay. I'm just trying to see like how far it is. Yeah, I don't think so. Sorry, I was just looking at the line. <laughs> Uh, Jacqueline, yeah, no worries. It just uh, writing in caps, it messes up anybody with it, uh, anybody who's uh, vision impaired when they have a text to speech reader. Sometimes it reads the words one letter at a time, or sometimes it reads them wrong if it's uh, ca all caps. Alien just went down to fifteen. That's cool. We could do Alien. I don't mind that. Tell you what, let's go do Alien. We'll come back and see if Slinky gets any less. It doesn't look bad, actually. That's the thing. Either way, we're having a great time. So, uh, let's see. Runaway Railway definitely not open still. Rise is still down. I have a seven-year-old. I've been hit plenty of times. Okay. <laughs> That's why I wasn't. I don't know how people are gonna react. No, yeah, that's why I wasn't worried. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the same way. Like, yeah, you're. Riding on rides, yeah. Ride with some other kid that grab me. Grab you. It's like it's all good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Kids were swinging the lightsabers around and the dad was trying to keep them from hitting me. I was like, I have a seven-year-old. I've been hit plenty of times. <laughs> yep, sure have. All right, so part of the fun of having boys, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. Let's just go do it. Why not? Ride some stuff. Let's go see an alien about a claw. So these are the robots at the front of Pizza Planet. Back in the... Hello. Snack and chat is an option, I know, but I'm trying to be good and not <laughs> not eat too much. So no more, no snacks tonight. I had a lot of snacks last night. <clears throat> oh, Robert, you you uh, you don't think rise actually goes down that much? Yeah, I mean, you know, you never know. I'll go around. I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Extra steps. <laughs> hey, DBC Andy, how are you, sir? It's good to see you. Well, you and Sharon are both having a lovely Sunday evening. Andy, I don't have school tomorrow, so we're out and about having a good time. Yeah, I don't think Slinky's 75 right now, but I can shop and chat. I can. I don't, I'm, not, I'm just not good at shopping because I'm not as interested in the merch as I used to be. Jen is so much better at that. That's why we're a good team. <laughs> That's why we're a good team. Oh yeah, this won't be long. Loading Zerg. The like has been bought. I like it when you bought the like. Bop, 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 the like. Oh, you have Monday and Tuesday for fall break. That's awesome, Andy. We had Friday and Monday. And the kids had Thursday. We had teacher work day on Thursday. <clears throat> My schools are also out tomorrow. Nice. <clears throat> I thought sometimes it coincides with Columbus Day, but in this case they did it a week later, so I don't know. It is a cute ride. I remember thinking of, you know, of course it's nothing compared to like Slinky Dog, but still fun. I like shopping with Josh because it's very simple. Either the item looks cool or it doesn't. That is true, Ginger. All right, we'll do some later after Fantasmic. How's that? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I got a little frog in my throat. Ribbit. Yeah, we're almost there. Christopher finally learned the lesson not to bop it more than once. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work. It's it's like an un, it's an unbop. Then you got to rebop. Yes, Jameson. This is the 25th anniversary of Fantasmic. It opened October 15th, 1998, according to Wikipedia. <laughs> so hopefully Wikipedia is a reliable source. <clears throat> At least in this case. <laughs> Manton, lover, you're too funny. They put the bop and the bop, the bop, the bop. <laughs> Hello, Craig from the UK. Be down in 2024. Nice. <clears throat> Wish we still had fall break in California, even though I'm in school. Yeah, fall break's fun. We got Thanksgiving break next month. The year is already going fast, man. Life goes too fast sometimes. Well, that's right. One bop per user. As long as you bop it an odd number of times, it's fine. <clears throat> now, that little heart button, the reaction button, you can bop that as many times as you want. I, I don't know that it even does anything, but hey, that's why I kept it on. Because if you like hitting the like more than once, watch this. 
Hold on. Gotta get past the ad. <laughs> I will say these remind me of constructs that I used to have when I was growing up. But check this out. This little thing. You can hit this as many times as you want. See? You can just hit it away. I don't know if it actually does anything, but it's fun. Yay! All right, so everybody flood the chat with these things. Let's see if it does anything. Like literally, just hit these emojis over and over again. See if it actually helps. See if we get more people watching. Him. <laughs> I don't see him yet. Ooh, that's like, um, I don't know, whatever the. I lost the word. The dream one. The dream inside the dream. Stream inside a stream. Either way, you can bop that as many times as you want. I easily press the emojis one million times. I appreciate that. My finger's tired. Oh, you don't have them. Yeah, I, I, maybe it's only on certain devices. I don't know. Well, we got till nine. We got till nine o'clock to do a couple more rides. So we'll see if we'll see if um, I almost said great movie ride. Oh my goodness! We'll see if Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway comes back up. The other thing is, um, if you want to get a an awesome Halloween shirt to celebrate spooky season, just go to shop.resorttv1.com. At shop.resorttv1.com, you can get your brand new um, Halloween shirt. We're going to have some Christmas shirts coming up, and we're also going to have, um, we're also going to have all kinds of other stuff. We have, like, July 4th shirts for, for you know, if you want to get them early. We have uh, just great big beautiful vacation shirts, all kinds of fun things. I wonder if that does anything for you guys. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Hello, Renee. Getting ready to watch the Bills. Nice. Yeah, I know. Watching your favorite team can be stressful sometimes. Yeah, Bobcat. I'm sad about Great Movie Ride, too. Toy Story Mania is still pretty long, but it might be an option. Problem is, if we get caught in the part of the queue that has bad signal, it'd be a lag fest, so it might not be a good idea. When I do Genie Plus, we don't have to stand there very long. It's 60 minutes right now, yeah. Toy Story is 60 minutes. All right, here we go. So, hey, Lily's Life. The one thing I want to do... One thing I also want to do is make sure we talk about the rest of our awesome sponsors. We have, uh, we already talked about Resort TV One Homes, but we also have uh, MagicBandReaders.com, even though we don't, we're not using our Magic Band tonight. MagicBandReaders.com, go check them out, guys. Ring the bell, but somebody else can have the cat. <laughs> yeah, so definitely go check out uh, MagicBandReaders.com if you want your own Magic Band Reader for your house. If you're like, what's a Magic Band Reader? This, my friends, is a Magic Band Reader. Here, hold on, I'll show you. Uh, yeah, this is a Magic Band Reader. You can put it on your wall, you can do whatever you want with it, use a Magic Band. And off it goes. You can even use it to turn your lights on and off. MagicBandReaders.com, use code RESORT15 for 15% off. MagicBandReaders.com. Use code RESORT15 for 15% off. The 
is not a real cat. I'll take it. There we go. Like a, like a, like a plushy cat. <clears throat> yeah, so magicbandreaders.com. They have, and they have like 30 different designs too. It's not just that one. They have like a fireworks one. They have a spaceship earth one. Obviously, that one is the that one is the most affordable one. Yeah, so so they have like they have like the spaceship earth one they have the um, the castle one they have haunted mansion one they have a store one all kinds of things so we're doing Fantasmic at the 830 show they're just about to start the 7 one alright one number 10 thank you Hello, Tyler. Miss Disney fans here, Anastasia's here. These are very convenient little lean rails. And again, this whole thing really looks like constructs. Those are so much fun. All right, well, we're next. say our ship Ship remote, I know, right? All right, we're going widescreen. Wide angle. So we're gonna go super high quality so that the movement looks better on the screen. Hey, Space Mountain Dave.
right. <coughs> awesome. Super fun. I love the Pac-Man noises in the background on this ride. Your attention, please. Listen. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, you're good. Okay, boys and girls, streamers, streamers and, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Streamers and dreamers, there we go. I was like, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, streamers and dreamers. <laughs> I was like, what goes with streamers? <laughs> or if it was at a party, streamers and balloons. <laughs> Hi, Willine, how are you? Barbara says she liked the ride. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Barbara. Super cool. <clears throat> Let's go look at the line again, just to see if it actually like went down, because Fantasmic's going on, even if, the, even if the app didn't show it going down. <clears throat> nope, it got worse. Okay. Well, that's your answer. All right, so yeah, well, that's fine. It's a good ride, though. Willine said the widescreen was awesome. That's great, Willine. Hello, Dan Loki from London. All right, let's walk around a little bit. <clears throat> let's see if maybe uh, maybe we'll get lucky and Runaway Railway will come back up and we can be right in front of it when it does. My friends, Romans, countrymen. <laughs> So Fantasmic holds about 9,000 people, technically 9,900 if they fill it all the way full. But <clears throat> very, very surprising that it's still so crowded out here in the park. <clears throat> I realize the park holds a lot more than that, but still, when it's busy like this, it doesn't take that big of a chunk out. But a lot of it is, you know, when, when Magic... Well, you, they also... <clears throat> There's only two parks open late. So if you're here on vacation and you don't have a party ticket, your choices are Epcot or Hollywood Studios. <clears throat> so it's kind of a rough, the parties really do create that. And then Animal Kingdom, they refuse to keep it open past seven. So it's one of my biggest pet peeves. Like seriously, like, like, like why? Why can Animal Kingdom not be open past seven? And it's not because of the animals, because they used to do it. You know, yeah, the safari can close at sunset, fine. But like, you know, Pandora. There's no live animals in Pandora. They could definitely keep that open. <clears throat> you know, Dino Land, Dinosaur, Everest, all those things could stay open. What time is it? That's right, Amara. 6,000 seats and 3,3900 standing room. Well, runaway still has 25 minutes. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go before it gets worse. <laughs> they must have just opened it. All right. Josh Hustle, engage. It literally must have just opened it because I just checked it. <clears throat> like right as, I, as we were getting off of um, Alien. Or right before we got onto it, rather. So it hasn't been open very long. All right. Move, move, move. At least according to Jesse. <clears throat> wow. 
Why do you want to share one? Tranquil and hustle. That's right. What I'm banking on is a lot of the people that had lighting lanes for it <clears throat> are in Phantasmic right now. Now One Man's Dream closes at 8, I think. You know, before before these line these rides didn't used to like line up that so quickly because before the app, they say Space Mountain was down as it usually was back in the day. They have to you'd have to actually like <clears throat> you'd have to um, actually walk up to it to see. So that was interesting. Come on. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, we're walking in. All right, Louis. Guys, we're going to switch connection real quick. Stay tuned. Intentional lag. And we're back. Wonder if Animal Kingdom hours changed because of the species survival plan. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what that is, so not sure. We did it. We're in line and we're like really, really. I mean, there's a lot of people coming through Lightning Lane, but <clears throat> I'm hoping we can get through without too much fuss here. This ride line is prettier outside at night. Yes, it is. See him. Chris says, nice hustle. Thank you. I'm glad this part wasn't changed very much. A little bit, but not much. Thanks, Patricia. Rise is down, yep. Once Upon a Studio. Diane, no, I didn't watch that one. <clears throat> maybe they'll put it up on, on uh, another platform we can watch. Probably be up maybe on Disney Plus or something we can watch it on. I know at least one other zoo that Ultra Hours to comply. Ah, okay, all right. Yeah, if that's the case, then I understand, but yeah, I don't know. Someone deployed the onions. Well, <clears throat> I'll have to see. I'll have to see it. Sounds amazing. Ready when you are, CB. And action. <laughs> Hooray for walking on. Two lads that are busy walking on. Just gotta pay attention to the app and then you can find it. The shortest lines in the park. <laughs> Come on and try your luck, maybe Donald Duck. <laughs> okay, sorry, I stole some of the original song. Hooray for shorter lines. I tried. I had a few good lyrics in there. <laughs> yeah, Ron, isn't it crazy? It just opened back up. 500 characters on wall. Oh, Diane, I can't wait. At the 100th anniversary short? Can't wait. Oh, my goodness. Yep, I'll probably cry. Thanks, Diana. Smell a copyright claim. Once in the Munchkin scene, there, once in the Munchkin scene, there was no music, and the Munchkins were moving and staring. Ooh, that would be creepy. It's like in Haunted Mansion during the ballroom scene when they cut off the music one time when it broke down. Hey, Emmanuel. Me too, Jack. Me too. My phone never listens to me. Hi, how are you? I apologize to anybody who was offended by my singing. <laughs> by my bad singing. 
Not that there was anything offensive about it, except for it wasn't good. <laughs> Yeah, Andy, I don't think we will either. That was awesome. Who was it in the, one of the hoppers? Whichever, whichever hopper said, hey, it's 25 minutes now. Kudos to you because it's because of you. We're already past the merge. Kudos to you, uh, resort hopper, who said that. Who was it? Let's give that person credit for saying it's 25 minutes now because that means it just opened. Thanks, Jack. Trista, yes, you have to, that's right. Yeah, you have to transfer out of the chair to ride. There's no... You can't ride it um, in the chair. It's not one of those type of attractions where you can stay in the chair. So yeah, because of the shaking probably. So you have to be uh, restrained in a regular seat for safety. I'm sad we skipped this ride because of the long wait, yeah. It's a good one. Hi, Rachel. You haven't been to Hollywood Studios the last two trips we've been. Oh, sorry, Chris. Yeah, it's a good park. I only sing solo, so low that no one can hear me. It's a fun little tune. It's in my head now. I bet Once Upon a Studio will eventually be on Disney Plus. They want people to see it, I'm sure. And anyway, I'm sure it won't be like on YouTube or anything. You know, obviously they, <clears throat> that's one of those type of things that, you know, it's protected content basically. But yeah. How long do they run Beauty and the Beast? I think the last show is like at 4.30 or something. Not sure. I'm telling you, once you see these hidden Mickeys in these lights, you cannot unsee them. Right? There. There we go. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, we're like going in. Holy cow. <laughs> All right then. Excuse me. Oh, turn it because I missed the switch back. So, yeah, me too. It was so fast. Oh, that's awesome, Raul. Hello, Rich Rimple. How are you? <coughs> so good. Here. Yep, we're off to 
the park. So you will. Wanna take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you later. Who, me? Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? Yeah, I can probably do that. It's gonna be a lot of paperwork. Don't worry about this. Thanks. Stuff. Be back in a jiffy. I'll pick you all up. Okay, bye. Why don't you all go first? Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I think we should go. Yeah, Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? There's nobody here. Oh, hey Jordan, that's very kind. Thank you for the kind words, Jordan TVA. Thank you. That's like the fastest line ever. I love it. Um, 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 um. this thing. One. At this point, I'm honestly questioning how I got through high school and never have any request. Don't have any recollection. <laughs> yeah, David. You never know. I remember a lot of high school. Not all of it, but I remember some of it. We had a good time. Oh yeah, the new math. <laughs> oh my gosh. I get, I get that they're trying to help people, but man, like the, the math. Ugh. I don't know. I just needed to make sense. I was trying to help Liam too, even in second grade, and it's like, wait, what? Because there was a story problem, and it was like subtract, you know, it was like one of those where, you know, so-and-so has, they have 80 balloons, Sam has 20 more balloons than Sherry, you know, how many balloons do they have total, and you do, you know, you add them up, you do the subtraction, you know, whatever, and so I did it by adding, subtracting, I can't remember the whole thing, but somehow they did it by, like, just adding and plugging in the missing number, and I'm like, but it's easier just to do the, just to do the subtraction.
two, three, one, two, three. Oh, excellent! You're all waltzing so beautifully together. Oh, 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 oh. Now, let's. I got through that really fast. That was awesome. Thanks. Sweet. Hey, Spaceship Ears, how are you? Yes, you heard Daisy's maniacal laugh. I saw that. There's Walt. Alright, so. Love it. So cool too. Uh, this is basically an exact copy of the theater that we came out of, or that we that we went into. All right. Well, we're uh, we're probably gonna stroll a little bit. We definitely don't. Oh, we can watch here. We can watch the. Um, we can watch the show. Oh my gosh! Listen to that. Yeah. Oh, 
So good. We'll see you at the movies. At the movies. Thank you, announcer guy. We appreciate it. Good evening and welcome. In just 10 minutes, we invite you to experience the magic, action, and excitement of the wonderful world of animation. If I back up a little bit, I can get the whole thing in. If you enjoy tonight's performance, the lighting in this area will be reduced. 
for your own safety and that of others. Yeah, isn't that a great show? I absolutely love, 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 love. There we go. So I stand all the way back here. I should be able to get most of it in. I absolutely love the music. Right where, right where he yells, "I'm Mary Poppins, y'all!" And then it goes on this just like dramatic transition, and it's so cool. It's like this. I don't know what the chords are, but it's like a, it's like a harmonic journey in like 20 seconds. So awesome, epic. I still don't know if that's from Guardians or what that's from, but it just, like, wow. I think somebody in the chat might have told me once before, but it sounds very John Williams-esque, but I don't think it's John Williams. And John Williams didn't do a lot of Disney movies. Uh, you know, he did Hook, of course. But, oh. <laughs> I thought I wasn't. <laughs> You changed your voice. That was good. I didn't even didn't even recognize your voice. How's it going? A little deeper like this. <laughs> I was doing the thank you very much moving announcer guy because that's how this guy you know. Yeah. Nice. So, that. Anyway, uh, fantastic well. Good. Yeah. That, that movie. This I forgot they played the movie Magic at eight eight they had whatever. Twenty five right now. Twenty five. Used to be eight thirty to eight forty, and then eight fifty to. Um, to nine was the new one of the world, but they just recently moved it. So you can't see both. You, oh, you can't see Fantasmic and both shows, yeah. Now, um, I really like the movie show, even though there's no fireworks in it. The music is so good. Like, I just, I love it a lot. Hi. Made it. <laughs> How's it going? It's good to see you. Nice to see you yeah, thanks for coming over. Yeah, I was like, I got to see Josh. <laughs> I told uh, Jen on Friday. I said, yes. She asked me, like, where I was going. And at first I'd say, I'm going to Hollywood Studio, or I'm going to Magic Kingdom. And she's like... You don't have a party ticket. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm not going to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, I just wanted to say hello. And I was like, well, you know, where Josh at? I know you said you had a friend over here. Yeah, he was, um, yeah, he stayed a Friday night and Saturday night. He just left earlier today. Uh, we did Halloween Horror Nights and all that. It was super fun. <laughs> so we did seven houses, man. We hit it hard and we left at 1.30. <laughs> wow. So we slept, yeah, we hit it real hard. I we, still have two to do after that. Do what? Even though I've been so many times, I've only, I still have two more to do. You have two more? Uh, Stranger and um, Darkest Deal. The only one I... The Darkest Deal is really good. There's a lot of... Well, I will, I'll save the stream, but the, yeah. there's a lot of uh, demon-like creatures in there. Okay. Let's put it that way. Uh, and they're they're very tall and they're right in your face a lot. So there's that. Chucky was not... I didn't like Chucky. No. <laughs> Chucky's not my favorite. I mean, it was better than the ride. That it's in, though. That's true. Oh my gosh, it's in. It's in um, Fast and Furious, which is a horrible, horrible ride. It's, yes. <laughs> it's like, why did they even? It's like, might as well just watch a movie. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad. I don't know. And it looks like it was expensive. That's why I'm like, why did they do that? But anyway. Yeah. So, who knows? Do you know Ron? I do not know. This is Ron on the go. This is Louis. Oh, Ron on the go. Yes. Yeah, carry on. Yep. That's right. How you doing? So he's yeah. he's one of our awesome uh, service members. You watch uh, watches when he. Now, do you still deploy? No, no, I'm done. I'm You're done, done deploying. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm retired now from the military. Oh, awesome. So you're officially a veteran now. <laughs> yeah, I have. Uh, like I said, I, I used to watch the stream two thirty in the morning. Like in what Afghanistan or different yeah, yeah, places? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Well, yeah, because I know sometimes too we'd be on at different times like early in the or whatever it was like we were like at an opening for something it's like 5 a.m and we gone live and you know you're up because it's like whatever time overseas you know <laughs> like, yeah, we'll come back from a mission like 1 30 you know we're so wired you know so yeah i'll turn on the computer and i'll be like oh yep click. yeah oh yeah you can't go to sleep right after yeah. that that's awesome did you want to say hi on the stream sure, sure. I, mean, uh, I seen him on friday yep hey guys let me get my there we go so this is louie guys he's in the chat hello again so, How do you say your last Friday, name? Carry on, like carry on. Okay, that's, I said it right. All right. So I mean, I say hello on Friday to everybody. I said thank you to everybody. On Friday. Yeah. Uh, and if you wasn't there, thanks again for the support when I was deployed, and uh, thanks to this channel, Josh, Jenna, mom, dad for sure. Oh yeah. And uh, like I said, I enjoyed this time, and I, I, those hoppers and moppers, <laughs> they they took care of me when I was up there. So yes. This well, is a great community. I mean, I I had guys in my room watching the stream. That's what you had said, or sometimes like you were in the mess hall, or you were in the you know wherever break room or whatever, and you're like, ah, oh, we're all got it on in the break room or the yeah. mess hall or whatever. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, hello again, or hello for the first time. Yes. And again, yeah. I appreciate the, the, the support. Oh, absolutely. Not just for me, for the guys that were out there with me. Yes. Because I received, like I was telling on Friday, I received uh, care box, care packages from 
hoppers and stuff. Oh my goodness, so that's I amazing. Used to just give them, you know, give stuff out for the other guys. And yeah. Like I said, it's just a little piece of reality, home. Like a piece know. of normal, basically. Right, yeah. You know, so you kind of, you know, get away from the stuff that you have to deal with. Oh yeah, for sure. I I had a friend um, that I've known since third grade that was, was stationed in Afghanistan for a while and. He was there during one of the bombings, and that was, you know, was uh, we had a lot of discussions about that. But he mentioned the same thing, you know. He would watch sometimes, or he would, you know, just he had ways to keep himself, you know. We were lucky enough to leave right before they took over. Oh, okay, good, yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, everybody's saying thank you for your service in the uh, in the chat there. So that's awesome. Uh, we still got five minutes. <laughs> We still got five minutes. Now join us as we embark together through the wonderful world of animation. For you to fully enjoy tonight's performance, the lighting in this area will be reduced. For your own safety and that of others, we ask that you please remain in the same area until the lighting returns to normal. That's good. Yeah, it is kind of, what is it? It's like uh, 67. It's nice. Feels good. It should be good today. It's been... Yeah, it's it a charge, yeah. Like I said, this channel is not just me, but the rest of the guys. Sometimes they'll ask me, what's up, what's up, what's up? Right? <laughs> no, it's good, though, because, like, I can't even imagine, like, having never, you know, done that before and just knowing, you know, what you guys have to go through. Like, just anything that you can do to keep your mind occupied, I think, is a good thing. So. Thing is, we, I didn't know anything about, obviously, anything. And one day I just said, you know what? I love Disney. Yeah. You know, I love Star Wars. So let me see if I find something, you know. And, right. And next thing you know, I said, you know, I searched for Disney World and saw TV on. Oh, so it was, it was uh, is it Disney and Star Wars. That's cool. That's, that's what I do. I, yeah. I love those two things. And this park has everything. Oh, yeah. It does. Yes. So how long are you here for? So I leave on Tuesday. Okay. But I came here Friday, did the Star Wars thing. I opened, you know, like a early entry. Yeah. So I did... Rise, I did everything Star Wars first. I did Slinky, I did uh, the Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower Terror, and then I was done. That's good, well, that's pretty good. I went straight to the golf course after that. <laughs> Which golf course? Uh, I played Pong. Okay. And then yesterday I played uh, Lake Buena Vista. Okay, that's the one around Old Key West and yes. Saratoga. Right. Yes. We used to see that one all the time, you know, when we were doing that. We stayed at Old Key West all the time, so we used to see that one. And by the way, everybody literally in the chat is saying thank you for your service. <laughs> you guys you guys supported us so hard. It made, it made a lot of things a lot easier. You know, it's, and sometimes you see the messages, you know, I'll tell, you know, I'll say, hey, I got my guys here. And yeah. Everybody says, oh, my God, you know, thank you for your service. You know, it's great, you know. Yes. And like I tell people, it's like, I did it so you don't have to. Right. You know what I mean? Well, that's what's so, you know, that to me is what's so inspiring about it is like, you know, those of us who, who you know, either didn't choose that path or maybe people that couldn't do it for whatever reason, you know, and, and I think that it's just amazing that people are, you know, like you and like your guys are willing to step up and, and do that. It's, it's, it's absolutely incredible. So, so I mean, apparently somebody just got engaged. 26 years of that, you know what I mean? That's yeah. 26 years. Wow. 26 years of that. I mean, I enjoy it. I don't get me wrong. That's... Yay! <laughs> I missed where it was, but that's cool. Hollywood first. There was one. Oh. I feel like they did that on purpose. Somebody's somebody's in the control booth, like, no, but um, you know, that's something that I think is is, is solely inspiring, and and just like to think about, you know, the people that, like you guys, that put yourself in harm's way just so that we can. Have the freedom we enjoy every day. You know, it's pretty amazing. Like I said, we know what we signed up for, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most of the guys, you know, I want to say 100% of the guys, they know. They know, yeah, sure. You know, so. Well, and that's what makes it more incredible. I mean, you're doing it a sound mind. You're doing it, you know, nobody's coercing. Like, you're doing this as a 100% volunteer military that we have, you know, so. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, it's rough. I mean, it's rough. Yeah, for sure. But it is what it is, right? Yeah. Job and you have to do the job. You do the job, yeah. They rely on you to do your job. Yeah, when you guys rely on each other, you know. And you have the leadership that put the trust in you. Right. And then I have the rest of the guys that I got to make sure that I'm going to bring home, of course, you know. Of course, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's more stress. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, 
Okay, we are back in base. Okay, good. We're back in base. Let's turn on the right. YouTube. <laughs> we go relax That's awesome. I love that. So cool. It is great. So, you know, now I get to do this. Yeah. Well, that's amazing, and it's so cool that you're able to retire after you know so many years of service and just kind of pass the torch on to the next the next group, yeah, that's basically. Exactly what I said too. I said, "Hey, here you go." Yes, it's it's yours now. <laughs> yeah. God bless. Yeah. And, uh, don't call me because I'm not. I'm a no. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, here we go. As Disney's Hollywood Studios proudly presents the wonderful world of animation. here at the Chinese Theater for Mickey's premiere. This gala is sure to be the talk of the town as every star in Hollywood has gathered to see Mickey's latest sensational picture. Just hear those people cheer. And look, there he is, the star himself, Mickey Mouse. And there's his sweetheart, Minnie Mouse. Aren't the two of them just the cats meow? Just don't tell Pluto. Let's take a look inside the theater.
they say if you dream a thing more than once, it should become true.
lose sight of one thing. And it was all started by a mouse. Thanks, everybody. It sure has been a whole lot of fun. But trust me, it's only the beginning. Awesome. All right, you want to do Fantasmic? All right, let's go. We're going to try and see if we can get up up in the line here. It was for this last this last show, they um, now the park's pretty busy tonight. But uh, last Saturday I did this 9:30 show, and I got right in the middle, like where you usually have to pay to sit. Oh, that's right. I, I, I saw that. So uh, hopefully we can do that again. If not, we'll still get inks. We're still like half an hour out, so that'll be good. But I love that show. That's awesome. Oh, the, the ants always get me. Yes, me too. No, uh, I'm taking one of the guys in the chat. I was like, "Look, we were talking about onions and stuff." You know? Yeah, oh, yeah, I saw that. I That's like, cool. I was like, "The ending always gets me." I'm like, ah. and then they put Walt in there, and now, oh, yes. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. No, I, I love. Um, oh, spaceship here is sort of my transition. There's a part in that movie Magic where. The guy says uh, from Guardian says I'm Mary Poppins, y'all, and then there's this awesome like transition yeah. after that, and it's so that one gets me every time. So I'm like, who? Yeah, I know. It's like, I'm not a composer. I've I've arranged a lot of stuff, but who like thought that through to be like just, so uh, epic? <laughs> and then you know the other thing is like um, in that show, there's some great transitions. Like who would have thought to go from what is it? It goes from Snow White to Baymax, yes, but it works so well. <laughs> Like I said, the people that, that do it are so good. They are. I, we got to. We were so fortunate uh, with through the um, media event um, for Tron, and they had the director of Happily Ever After there, oh, wow. and just meeting him and hearing him hear hearing him talk about the show, it's like, oh, no wonder it's so good. He's just so passionate about it, you know. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. They do. It's 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 crazy. He's so great though. Well, and like some of the stuff he told us, I didn't even know. Like in the part with the villains. But if you watch it, it makes sense. I just never saw it because I'm always streaming it. But the fact of in Happily Ever After where um, the villains do all the stuff and pirates. And at the end of that, right. the castle is destroyed. Oh, the I castle know. actually, and if you look at it, you can see it. There's like ash everywhere and it's like smoldering from being destroyed. Huh. And then in the heroes section, it gets built back up again by like magic. Oh. And it's really cool. And you can see it with the projection, how it gets built back up again and... There's a thing about, you know, if you wish and if you dream, and then here it is, and it's there back. Go, then it goes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's pretty cool. I just I didn't notice that they literally destroy the castle on a projection. Like, the pirate scene is really where it gets, like, bombed and stuff, okay. and it, it's really... Okay. I'll pay I'm attention like, next time. Yeah, it's really cool. And now with the projections on Main Street, you can see a little bit more some that's of those correct. buildings. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just pretty interesting the way they do it. Bum, 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 bum. All right, guys. The part that gets me is Tinkerbell. Yes, she started flying. Oh, God. Yeah, that's the best part. Honestly, I've said that. You know, there's some great fireworks shows, but that with Tink comes in, that is one of the best. Oh, we're right in the front. That's good. They haven't let us in yet. There's that's one of the best builds and re resolutions in any show ever. Yeah, They're I gonna mean, when Tink's fly, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Well, I what really gets me is is not just the flight, but the crowd reaction to it. Yes. Everybody goes crazy. Yes. Hi, Joseph. We see you, buddy. <laughs> we see you. The line is what? Oh, okay. Okay. All right, we're in line. We're <laughs> good. I mean, like, last time it was on the sidewalk, so. Oh, okay. That's why I got confused. All right. And Epcot Forever just started. Oh, who's walking? Yeah, if you guys missed it, this is Louie from the chat. Louie, carry on from the chat. One of our awesome hoppers since, like, for a while. Oh, years. <laughs> years. I mean, at least... Ooh, 2016? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, pr that's pretty awesome. 
Yeah, so it's it's uh, pretty cool. So the last time we saw you was at Fort Wilderness, right? That's correct. Yeah. yeah maybe 2018 at that time. Maybe. Been a while, yeah. That's awesome. And in the, in that time period, you finished up and retired, and there you go. <laughs> pretty awesome. Different, different things going on. Yes. Yes. It's great though. I mean. I oh, for sure. There's no harm here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. I just noticed that we are going to need we're going to need to switch my connection, and my battery is definitely going to die here in a second. Hold on, guys. I got 20%. I'm good, but I just have to. I'll put you guys on BRB for a second. Stay tuned, everybody. Be right back. Oh, Spaceship Beers, you tried Shazamming that part? Yeah, I know. I want to know what it is, too. I'll be right back. It'll catch up here in a second. Louis watching it on his device. He can tell me when it turns back over. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, we're we're moving. It's not. We're not back yet. I guess. Uh, someone stepped away for a moment and came back to BRB. They think that Thanos snapped. Uh, yeah, because it's a. Oh, there it is. Yeah, because that's a picture I took um, after hours one time. So we did a well, another uh, event where it was like on my birthday, and um, we were out really, really late, and so we wanted the last out of the park, and I got that picture with no no people, so that was oh, wow. fun. Yeah, that photo that is in the BRB. In the BRB yeah, oh, wow. that's cool. <laughs> Super fun. So, have you seen the show yet? This trip, the Fantasmic, or not yet? Uh, I saw it uh, last. No, not on this trip. Not I saw on this it trip. On the, when you streamed it last time. Oh, okay. Well, now you can see it in person. That's right. <laughs> well, that's another reason why I came out here. Oh, absolutely. Of course, people be doing the wave and stuff from one side of the theater to the other. Oh, I love that. That's so much fun. There we go. Finally got to watch Haunted Mansion. I haven't gotten to see that yet. I did hear there's a new Disney short. That uh, apparently it's like called the studio or something. It's got like Walt and a bunch of the characters. So. Some guys here said that it's a tearjerker type. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was watching, and I'm like, okay, well, I need to find that now. Yeah, Epcot forever. So I did that with Jenna. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. I love that show. Oh, Barbara, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, I am. Um, Kind of thing. So, oh, today, by the way, this is what the whole stream said. Today is the 25th anniversary of Phantasmic, so we're about to celebrate. 25th anniversary, October 15th, 1998. So there you go. John says, air tonight, I ball. Well, I'm sure I will also be emotional. <laughs> Once we get set down, I gotta plug it in. It's hard, kind of hard to do here. <laughs> yeah. It's it's called Once Upon a Studio, and people can see it on Disney Plus. Good. I'll check it out. Thanks, Elevator. Check that out when I get home. Fantasmic is a great show, guys. So is.
Now, so this is your first trip to Disney since 2018, or, or no? okay? Wow. Yeah. So there's a lot of new stuff. Have you done? Um, let's see. Done Rise of the Resistance. You said you did that. I did that when I, yeah, this, when I came here. I did Rise. Uh, I did a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Uh, what else that I know? I did today. I did uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yes. How do you like that? Oh my God. Isn't that great? That thing is amazing. Um, it's a great ride. Which which song did you get? Uh, what's the one? Uh, <laughs> Let's see. It's either Conga, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. That one. Uh, yeah, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Yeah. <laughs> Louis says, uh, or Steven says, Louis, want to get over to meet you and Jen and Dale on Friday before Epcot Forever, but my feet said no. <laughs> We totally get that, Stephen. Sometimes you can walk a lot. <laughs> yeah, I was out till 1.30 last night, walking, walking, walking. Oh, we're lined up now. That's awesome. I couldn't, I don't, I gotta figure out how to get to like my previous day steps because my phone was showing me, um, my watch was showing me yesterday after we left and we sat down in the car, it was like two o'clock and just in like an hour and a half or two, I already had 5,000 steps. So that was pretty crazy. Yes. Yeah. We walked so much. So tomorrow I have uh, Animal Kingdom in the morning and then I'll probably play some golf. Play some golf. I love it. Why not? Before I go. Oh, here we go. We'll see what we'll see where they put us. Hopefully, they put us close to the front. That'll be great. Because there's nobody. I don't think there's packages for this show, or at least not as many. Hey, Diz Noah, how are you? Is it true they're taking away Epcot forever? Yes, they are, but they're putting in its place Luminous, which we don't know. We don't know anything about it yet, so we just gotta wait and see what it's like. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Oh, that's the end of uh, Epcot Forever, 10 minute show. It is a short show, but it's still fun. <laughs> Luminous, a symphony of us. Oh, I didn't know the like the subtitle, that's cool. Or the, the whatever you call it, the second title. <laughs> so who's ready for Phantasmic, guys? It's Sunday night Phantasmic. We surrender, we surrender. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I can definitely hear that from my house every night, which really? is pretty cool, yeah. And I'm not like, you know, I, I'm not like right around the corner. I'm close enough. The cool thing is if it's a cloudy night, um, Epcot Forever is not as high as, as um, Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After is a much higher show. Um, so from, we can see, we can see, not from my house, but from the neighborhood, I can see, um, if I walk in a certain place in the neighborhood, I can see Apple Labor after. Oh, wow. Uh, if I stood on my roof, I could see it. Okay. But I don't do that very often. <laughs> but um, so I will say I'm going to put a camera up there. But no, um, you can see in the clouds, though, like the light. Like you can see, like, the clouds turn red or green. Or, so that's pretty cool. I don't know. I'm such a dork. I'm like, I could see the clouds change color from Happily Ever After. But most people who like Disney would, would, be, would be geeked about that, too, I think. <laughs> Uh, ATB, thank you so much for the, um, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, and there was one earlier during one way way away. I forgot too. Sorry, uh, twenty dollars from ATB. Thank you for the great stream. Please tell Louis how much we appreciate his service to our country. I'm glad he is enjoying his trip. Well, thank you, ATB. We appreciate that. And um, thank you for the support. That's all I can say. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it. And yes, and um, you just told him because he's right next to me. So. <laughs> It's awesome. You guys are so so supportive. We appreciate you guys. Who have limited capacity in the theater? Leaving the theater is not recommended. Once the theater reaches capacity, readmittance will not be guaranteed to any party member. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the show. Uh, Cream City was asking. We have a business that finds helps people find houses. We don't do apartments, unfortunately, or rentals, just because the laws on that in Florida make it so that it's pretty hard for people to do. Um, and make a business out of it. So we don't, we're not, we just refer, you know, to the realty service 
and my wife and I are, are um, our sales associates or licensed sales agents. But anyway, but yeah, we don't do apartments, unfortunately. I wish we could. But the laws are weird on that, and the commission structure doesn't work out. Uh, Cayman Christopher, 999 Hippo character, spins around in the air, arms flying up in the air. Thank you, Cayman Christopher. Appreciate that. That was earlier during um, our ride, and I forgot, and I'm very sorry. I was on um, a great movie ride, and then right after I got off the movie ride, there was a show. So it was like a lot going on. Hey, Aaron. Thank you, Louie. My dad was in the Navy. That's awesome, MLP Mav. Oh, cool. Best show here is one person for stores is going to go up the ramp. And then we're going to buy it. Love these songs. Two, three, four. <laughs> I love this version of the songs. Very good. I don't know who sings it. It sounds like Avril Lavigne, but I don't know who actually sings it. Somebody in the chat's going to tell me because you guys are smart. Or I could just Shazam it. <laughs> Who surprises me every time? Avery. Who's that? Who? Avery, the, the Cuban American. I, I I like see him having like eight computer screens and like five keyboards. He said on point too. I said he's got a lot of it. I guess copied and pasted into different documents. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, this is what happened to me last time. We got right here, and you can see it looks like a lot of people, but it's really not. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll get right in there. So all we're waiting for now is people to get their spot. Super easy. Hey, Big Al, how are you? It's Ashley Tisdale. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Good evening. Oh, yeah, we're going. We're going right here in the middle. Love it. I kind of like to be like not right in the front, but like a little bit up, so you can see. Yeah, kind of like in the middle. The last, oh, when we did it last week. That's all. I love it when they have these kind of shows that are late because you know you can get a decent spot. You, oh yeah, people are tired. When they're like, the other thing is if you play your cards right, they do the eight o'clock show. Go ride rides during that time, and then come back and you do the show later. You don't have to be otherwise for the eight o'clock show. You got to be here an hour early to get a decent spot. Yeah. Wait, who's time traveling? <laughs> if I time traveled, I'd go back and ride Horizons. Hell yes. <laughs> you remember that one? Yes, I do. <laughs> I was telling the chat the other day that the first time I ever came to Disney was in 1975. Oh, okay. So you, I was four years old. You, I was going to say, you were uh, you were there before I was, for yeah. sure. So, yeah, I, my first visit was 84. I was um, five. <laughs> so there you go. Now you... Yes, well, I remember, and those were there until like the early 2000s, I think. So, and then kind of the brothers back, and I was like, yeah, kind of. Glad, I'm glad they have it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, for sure. you know, it's a newer system, so it's like safer and everything, I'm sure. But yeah. when it was windy, oh, it was Magic Kingdom? those were scary. Uh, you're like, uh -oh. yeah, <laughs> is this safe? <laughs> Don't move so much. <laughs> yeah. When should you try to sit before the show? Yeah, 30 minutes for sure. Go ahead. Oh, thanks. You definitely do not want to try and get in here any any later than 30 minutes before a show. Now, for the second show, it's it's a little bit different. Because the second show, they don't open it until like, what was it, like 15 minutes before, I think, or 20 minutes before. All right, yeah, this is awesome. Thank you, sir. All right. Go down a little bit. Oh, good. Yeah, if we slide down, then we won't be like right in front of the pole here. Okay, so let's go maybe like down this way. Yeah, there you go. See, now we're now we don't have the pole right in front of us. It's like literally like almost dead center here. That's good. All right, perfect. I actually think last time yeah. I was even over there. Oh, that's nice. But they were saving that for the dinner package. But hey, uh, I'm not complaining. This is a good spot. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're at 
And this one, what's that? No. Luckily, it used to be that way. It used to be on the old YouTube app. If you were, if you went offline for like five minutes, it closed the stream. Yes. And now, I have mine set where it's a manual close. So it could go, you could leave it overnight and it wouldn't close. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. That way, and the way that we've got it set up in our new app, it's one of those things that's very idiot proof because I used to, you know, I end the stream accidentally so many times and get mad at myself. And then I was like, okay, I told our developer, I was like, we have to make this idiot proof. Like, you know, so pushing the stop button can't do it. Pushing the stop button just pauses it. So if I want to, if I want to close it, I have to go in this other menu. I can't show you now, but I have to go in the menu, swipe left, hit the button, and then there's still a menu that says, are you absolutely sure? So there's like three or four things you have to do. So there's no way you could do that on accident. So shout out to Ken. I was even so mad at myself a few times for closing the stream. I was like, let's just let's just make it where, um, oh, let's make it where I have to type in like, yes, I am sure. <laughs> you know, or something like, no, you never could do that. So anyway, yeah, I like it. Thanks guys, the phone is plugged in and charging. Hello JL, how are you? Yeah, perfect, perfect spot. 11 minutes guys, and then we're watching Mickey Mouse slay some dragons. I am sad that Disneyland's dragon is not coming back. Ooh, Ron's cutting it close. He's still in tower. <laughs> Good evening. The thrilling spectacle of Fantasmic is now just 10 minutes away. We'd like to remind you that the lights in the theater will be dimmed during the performance. For everyone's safety, please remain in your seats until the lighting levels return to normal. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the show. Spaceship Beers. I remember seeing Fantasmic. I actually saw it in 93, which was like the year after, a couple years after it came out. Um, I was blown away as a kid, and even as a high school kid, I was a freshman in high school, I was so blown away by it, I literally used my allowance or whatever money I had brought with me to buy the CD, you know? So. Cali probably canceled the Dragon due to the natural gas. Yeah, I just wish there was a way they could do it and make it safer. I mean, you know, because it's such a cool thing. That's right, Big Al. Happy anniversary. But yeah, Mickey, Mickey really killed the dragon at Disneyland. Like, it's not coming back. <laughs> so usually there's like two or three sections open in this show. Usually they don't fill it up. But tonight, busier. So we'll see. Yeah, it's definitely busier than last week. Last week there were five sections open. Oh, okay. Okay, I watched last week. I was in my house. Yeah. And I went from here to the TV. Yeah, right. It's just right there. Less crowd, but you know, it's a little more immersive experience. <laughs> That's awesome, Josh. I bought so much merch at the Disney Gallery. Oh, I remember the Disney Gallery. Wow. Yeah, I love this time of year, guys, because number one, I like it cool, but number two, the phone charges so fast. When it's hot, it does not charge. The pirates not for me. Up me, howdy yo ho yo ho. Is so there Animal Kingdom tomorrow? Yes. You're gonna do like Everest and Pandora and all that? We do the early entry, so I go straight to Pandora. Yep. Run to Everest. Do that. Yep. And then, possibly do the Lion King. The show the Lion King. Yep. And uh, I'll probably do the dinosaur. I don't know, just kind of, you know, just because. It's a good one. It might, you know, it might be replaced by Indiana Jones. That's the rumor. Right, right. Like I said, I just. Because I only do that like the big rides, now yeah. that I don't have to do all of them. Right. I would recommend too on Everest, if you do the single rider, 
Yes. You can do it as many times as you want. Yeah. I went to a test track. Oh, good. It was 75 minute wait. I went into single rider. I was in like five minutes. Wow. Test track is pretty good for that. So it seems to be a lot of people either just don't want to do it or they forgot about it or they don't know. And it's kind of like, you know, like. Oh, it's such a good ride. Yeah, that's, they go so fast. Not quite as bad as Rise used to be. Rise would be like so hard. Because you would have to be in here. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be the very beginning. You had to be in here and hit the button right at the right time. And you'd hear everybody in here like, yes or ah. Oh, you know, yeah, like you can hear. hear it. You can hear it. I don't miss that. I mean, I, let's be honest. I don't know that Disney really wanted everybody in here at 7 in the morning anyway. So I'm glad they don't do that anymore. My husband, mom, and I were at the debut of Fantasmic. That's so awesome. We were interviewed after the show. That's so cool, Kathleen. So yes, this 25-year anniversary here at Hollywood Studios, not of the show at Disneyland, obviously, has been around a little longer. Here we go, guys. Hip Hop, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah, Avery's in the house. Hola, Avery. Avery Louie over here was just saying how impressed he was with your uh, your captioning skills. <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. Good evening. In just a few minutes, the Hollywood Hills Amphitheater will come alive with the sensational sights and sounds of fantastic. For everyone's safety, please remain in your seats until the lighting level returns to normal. For the safety of our performers, the use of laser pointers during the show is strictly prohibited. And now, get ready to join Mickey Mouse as he conjures up a spectacular world of fantasy and fright in Fantasmic. Yeah, Brittany, my uh, Fort Wilderness garage, not garage, sorry, Fort Wilderness Halloween decor golf cart stream will be on the 25th. Yes, that's correct. I don't know why I said garage. They should have that. They should have a Fort Wilderness garage, like a like a um, parking garage. <laughs> That's what I was. The golf cart thing, isn't that cool? So fun. Yeah, so cool to see everything. Yeah, we can't wait. That's uh, we got a campsite and did all the things for that. Who would bring a laser pointer into the park? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think they just have to say that just in case somebody has one. I love the original show, but I really love the new show. It is really good. I'll give you that. It's really, really good, honestly. You wish you had memories in the 90s? Yeah. It was a cool time to be a Disney fan for sure. Eisner was spending all the money. <laughs> oh man, you sure did. That's awesome. Yeah, he's so so tall. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who they get to do that, but it's it's really funny. I actually went in to see Kylo Ren, and he's tall too. And they, they, oh, the chat dared me to call him Ben, and he like got right in my face. Sorry. <laughs> Imagine testing Spaceship Earth and seeing the ball wobble a bit. I'd be terrified. Oh yeah, Spaceship Earth. All that stuff moves a little bit, but yeah, you always think buildings shouldn't move. <laughs> but if you go up on the top of like, been on top of the Empire State Building and. Sears Tower or Willis Tower, whatever it is. Yeah, they move. Even uh, one time we stayed in a, well, I stayed in a hotel in New York 
like on the 44th floor or some really tall floor and yeah you can feel it all night it's like kind of like rocking in the water <laughs> I guess the building engineers have to account for that probably. They, they know it's going to move, so they have to have it. It has to be a little bit flexible. <laughs> I don't know. Those guys are smarter than me. But <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. Apparently, music theory is pretty hard because there's a there's the you know the traditional saying that it's not. Come on, guys, it's not rocket science. And then there's a meme of the rocket scientist saying, "Come on, guys, it's not music theory." <laughs> Because music theory gets pretty hard too, and all my, my students, I, I put that meme up at the beginning of the year because I'm like, hey guys, don't get frustrated if it's like too hard. A lot of it is very, very complicated. You could be worse, trust me. Yeah. One minute, guys, one minute. Oh, here comes a wave. It's a mini wave. Never realized how much space it takes up. It's a big theater, guys. It's a big theater. So it holds 6,000 in the seats and 3,900 standing if people want to stand. Welcome to Fantasmic. Tonight, our friend and host, Mickey Bass, uses his vivid imagination to create magical imagery for all to enjoy. Nothing is more wonderful than the imagination. For in a moment, you can experience a beautiful fantasy or an exciting adventure. But beware, nothing is more powerful than the imagination. For it can also expand your greatest fears into an overwhelming nightmare. Are the powers of Mickey's incredible imagination strong enough and bright enough to withstand the evil forces that invade Mickey's dream? You are about to find out. For we now invite you to join Mickey and experience Fantasmic. A journey beyond your wildest imagination.
waters is, you can't step in the same water twice. The water's always changing, always flowing. But people, I guess, can't live like that. We all must pay a price. To be safe, we lose our chance of ever knowing what's around the river bed.
fun. <laughs> so, Mickey's thoughts arose so no. Oh, you love this one more thing. <laughs>
<laughs> so good. So good. That ending is just extra special. <laughs> So my favorite thing, rather than rather than chase everybody out, is listen to the music at the end here. It's so good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because what happens is also when you guys do like the old days stuff. Right. I got it on the phone and then I send it to the TV. Yeah. And I have it in the background. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's so cool. Yeah. It's, it's something else seeing it in person, isn't it? So cool. What a great show. Some of that stuff is similar to what I saw last night. There was a, a Halloween Horror Nights. They had a um, kind of a disappearing thing where there was a it was about a nightmare and a girl was laying down on a bed and she was supposed to like lay down and go to sleep when she was going to have a nightmare. And somehow she lay down on the bed, she covered herself up and keep in mind, there's nothing under the bed. You can see under it. It's not like boxes or anything where she could just drop down in there. She disappears. The music gets real loud for a second. She disappears. Some big, strong, muscular dude pops out. Like scary guy. And I'm like, where did he come from? Well, we've watched it in slow-mo. We can't figure it out. Because we were like, I found a YouTube video. I watched it in slow-mo. I can't figure it out. Now, obviously, Mickey, you know, it's pretty cool. I don't, don't want to know everything, but how he ends up, you know, from the top to the bottom. But yeah, but... Obviously, there are, there are two of them, but still, at the same time, it's like, with that one, I could, like, literally, it's like, she's there, and then she's not there, and I don't, yeah, <laughs> so, the fact that I could watch it in slow motion and still not figure it out is pretty crazy, yeah, right, that's so good, thanks, guys. It's magic, that's right. Hey Chad, good night. Yeah, some of you guys gotta go to work tomorrow, I know. Have a great day tomorrow, everybody. We'll stay live a little bit longer. We'll go shop a little bit. And that'll be it, but I don't have to. I'm work tomorrow, I'm very lucky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had the um, quality all the way up, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Speakers are so good. Sounds so good, right? Yeah. Yes, Avery, it's a Chef's Kiss soundtrack for sure. So good. Thanks, Avery. Thanks, David. Thanks, ATB. Appreciated it. Yeah, we got a good view here. Basically, the only way to be more in the middle would be like all the way to the edge of this row would be maybe a little bit in that row, just a little bit. It's not that far off. How are you? Good. Yes, it was. Always so good. <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah, happy 25th anniversary, Fantasmic. It was a good show. Close ups are awesome. Thanks, Petra. I got a cool little zoom button. I can go in and out real quick. Like this. Pow! <laughs> I can just push a button and then I just go. Then we can come right back out. <laughs> I asked Ken to do that too, because my I always fat finger the little slider yeah, thing. Like so And when it's cold it's even worse, so I'm having to go like like blow warm air on my finger to make it work. <laughs> Uh, Karen, I don't know about that she gets paid more, but they do have to, Ariel does have to, she can't go in the cabin. She actually, on the boat, with the, when the, spring, the sparklers go off, they cover her up with a flame retardant blanket during that. Uh, because she's like, she's like attached to the boat. So then once that's done, then they pull the blanket off of her when the, when the sparklers are over. Thanks, Barbara. So glad you guys enjoyed it. Hey, Walter. Walter again said, love it. She does get danger pay. Okay, cool. Well, I know Tinkerbell gets danger pay for sure. 
Yeah. Well, she should. That's good. <laughs> Here it comes. Epic ending. Awesome. All right. See, now we don't have to fight the crowd. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's still, I guess, quite a crowd, but it's not as bad as it was. Ah, I love that ending. And then this is good stuff, too. All right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's why Resort TV wants the best. Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, we, we just have a good time. I only missed I only missed one zoom thing. I hit the button, but I missed it just a little bit. So as I tried to get like zoomed out for the fireworks, that I hit the button, and I must have hit right in the middle. But I'm sure nobody even noticed. <laughs> They're so happy to watch it anyway. Yeah. I was telling everybody I'm my own worst critic. <laughs> if I miss something, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> it's always great to stay behind and enjoy the magic and let the crowd pass. Absolutely. All right. Let's see. I think we can go this way. Let's try this way. I don't remember where this goes, but I think it skips some of the crowd. Because there's a little secret exit over here, guys. <laughs> where are we shopping? I don't know. Let's go to a different one. There's one There's one closer to um, Tower of Terror down here we didn't go to last time. So let's try that. Louis is happy. Uh, right. We're happy to watch whatever. Yeah, Kelly. Well... I just want it to be the best it can be. So always, if there's anything we can improve on, I try and do it. We're still stuck on one thing. I want my super zoom. I got a 10x zoom lens on this, and I got to change apps to use it. So one of these days, we're going to get the app to do that. Ken, I mean, Ken literally put in an, uh, an insane, insane, insane amount of hours to make that work. And unfortunately, we need some help from some other programmers that, uh, that programmed the app that went to this. And unfortunately, they're not willing to cooperate yet. So... We're hoping we can work on that eventually. <laughs> I'll just have all the resort hoppers email them at the same time. Maybe that, maybe that, they're like, okay, just stop emailing us. <laughs> That's what we'll do, yeah. <laughs> we'll do an email bomb. Uh, Mike Wheeler, hey buddy, how's it going? It's because of the fireworks and not fireworks off the boat. Oh, okay. Interesting, Mike. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I mean, either way, I know they do have to cover her up with a blanket. Well, I'm sure sparks from those sparklers on the boat, you know, you got to be pretty far away from those because you, you don't want to get that in your eye for sure. Now we got to go backstage to get out of here. Time for a Coke. Cardboard box. Nope. No Coke tonight. We're, I'm doing good. <laughs> well, that and I'm I'm trying to cut down on my Cokes, trying to lose like 10 pounds. So we'll see. I'm, I'm down 10 already. I want 10 more. Sugar. I'm telling you. It is. And it's funny. It doesn't matter if the Coke is 140 calories and then the the whatever else you could think of, cereal or whatever, is 140. The Coke is worse, and I don't know why. Because it's... it's it's just sugar. Yes, that's what it is, really. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, you've seen the, 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 the messed up pennies? Yeah. And they put it on Coke? Yeah. And it's, like it's bad for me, I know. My dad, actually, I remember dad used it one time. He actually had a bottle of Coke, and it was an old car, and he used it to clean the corrosion off the battery. Yeah. <laughs> just, you, you just I, I, I'm, you know, just, my stomach stays nice and clean, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. I want my Super Zoom. That's right, Karen, like MTV. I want my MTV. Colorado Girl, I always love everyone and, um, hurries up just to wait in line. Our MO is to enjoy the park peacefulness as people rush, yeah. Yep, it's that old hurry up and wait. <laughs> Thanks, Leaf Watson, I appreciate it. Yeah, so many, so many lightsabers. We're trying to try something different, guys. We're going to try, not ground stream, but we're going to try uh, wall stream because... Uh, this is technically backstage, but we'll, we'll, we're, we you know, can't see anything right now. All you see is a bunch of people. So that's the rules. No streaming backstage. <laughs> I mean, maybe this doesn't count. I don't know. Oh, uh, Classy Disney Mom, it is my pleasure to share it with you. Thank you for watching.
Uh, Cream City Flags. I don't know about the lightsabers. I'm not sure. I don't keep up on that, unfortunately. Um, I know a lot of people are really big into that. I mean, they're pretty cool, I will say. They make all those different lightsabers. Do you build two? Yeah. So fun. I only got to do it once because of an awesome hopper that basically, um, like, took me in for his experience. And it was really neat. I was just blown away by the whole thing. I tell people I'm, I'm a little crier, you know what I mean? So when, yeah. when the music comes on, oh, yeah. when, the, when the, the Luke, Luke Skywalker's theme comes on, I'm like, okay, <laughs> why are they doing this to me? Well, and then Yoda comes on, right? Yoda talks, comes yeah. on, hmm, it is time. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the end of that. <laughs> we love spending so many nights with Resort TV when every time you stream, we try to watch because it makes our nights so much fun. Thanks, Kelly. I appreciate that. Well, and I know today, Sundays, we don't normally stream because... Um, we have family time on Sunday, but this was a weird weekend, and you know, there's football and all these different things to watch. But we're glad you guys are here and enjoying the stream. Look, guys, no parking, no parking right here. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to see. It's it's crates and walls. <laughs> Sabi's is super cool. I have video of the time when Is went. That's awesome, David. Yeah, David was on a commercial. Um, when they did there at Galaxy's Edge when it first opened. That was pretty cool. They have a video of my building it too. Do you? Yeah. Did you have somebody go with you and film it? Yeah, my son uh, came with me and filmed it. Okay. Now, he he, uh, he did his college program and moved on, right? He, does, he doesn't still work here, does he? Okay. I know he was here for a little, for just a little just while there. a little there. while, yeah. Yeah. So now he's doing IT. That's my older one. He's doing yeah. IT stuff. Okay. The younger one graduated... He's a, he's a doctor. Wow. 25 years old. A doctor at 25. 25. Smart kid, man. <laughs> he said, Dad, how am I ever going to repay you? How much did I spend on you? <laughs> he goes, I don't know, but 200 is okay. That's the kind of car I want. There you go. That would be great. Thank you. <laughs> you can my car. That's funny. Yeah, medical school, man. That's, that's, no, tough. that's I mean, no joke. He graduated early from high school. Oh, did he? So he Oh, oh, that's how I was going to say, because, yeah, usually you need all the residency and all that stuff. So he went in and he's, he graduated early from high school, then he graduated early from his first degree. He did, like, accelerated program. Yeah. And then he went straight to the... Took no summers, no nothing. Wow. Good for him. That's super awesome. All right. He's doing really well. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Alright guys, we're gonna go in here. Let's just go this way, I guess. Oh, that's, that's cool. I didn't know they had a um, baseline tap house shirt. That's pretty neat. That, that's one super smart kid, David said. <laughs> yeah, Liam's gonna be smarter than me. That's well, he already is. He says stuff, and I'm just like, dude, <laughs> you should not be thinking that stuff at seven. But okay, I don't know. Yeah, he's same. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's see. Got some different shirts here. I got my Epcot shirt the other day, so that was cool. So I saw a Grumpy shirt earlier, and it said, I had fun once. It was awful. I was like, okay, that's a pretty cool shirt. <laughs> it's Kermit and Stitch and all these guys. That's a cool store, too. I don't you guys take the time to look up, but it is pretty cool. Yeah, let's get to 1.3K likes. That's right, Amara. Everybody hit the like button. This is like very castle-like in here, even though it's not a castle. It seems like same style as Tower of Terror and stuff. Oh, that Coke is so tempting, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's cool, goofy sweatshirt. Just like goofy skiing. 60 bucks. There you go. The bag with many on it. That's pretty fun. It's like a snowy. This like there's like a whole winter motif going on here. It's not really not really Christmas, but. I know I like them. Some of them are kind of Christmassy. Oh, yep. Boy, yeah, they are already out with the Christmas stuff. Isn't that crazy? Already. I mean, this is, yeah, it's like skiing and sweaters. I mean, I guess maybe tonight, but, yeah, this, okay, sorry, I missed it. This is a legit, like, 
Christmas spirit jersey thing. See, I don't know anything about this stuff, but it's definitely spirit jersey because it's got Disney World big on the back. So I know that's how it works. So, what? Are, how much are these? Like, oh, they don't even say because they're like eighty bucks or something. Eighty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a that's a sweatshirt. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Oh, there you go, guys. I think we beat Jenna to that one. Christmas merch at Hollywood Studios. All right. Not too much more in here to see. Mostly clothes, which I am not good at showing. So we'll let Jenna do that. I'm like, here's a shirt. Here's another shirt. Jenna, Jenna is the pro at it. Yeah, she is. I'll stick with the tech. <laughs> Was that accidental, intentional shopping? Sure, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. This is over here. It says Paradise Pier. That's actually it used to be at Disneyland, so uh, in California Adventure, but they changed the name of it to Pixar Pier. Oh, thanks for staying with us, guys. It's been a fun night. Majestic. 15 cents. <laughs> really cool. I will say this is probably my. Oh, that's like an actual ad for Cuties Mandarins there. That's funny. Up there. They have all the Cuties oranges they put in their. Um, they put in their um, meals and stuff if you don't want french fries. That's cool. It's like it looks like an old time. Hi. Looks like an old time sign. <laughs> And I think we just heard um, the uh, Halloween fireworks take off over there. Did you do a, a Halloween party this time? I did it on uh, uh, Friday. Friday, nice. Was it Friday? No, it, when did I get here? Thursday. 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 I, I know you went and saw Jenna on Friday. 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 Yeah. So Thursday. I like those Indiana Jones props. Oh yeah, David, for sure. They're really cool. I was going to town here. All right, let's see. What can we, what can we get into over here? Let's go in this one this time on the left because I haven't. We didn't go in that one last time, so we'll see. Yep, I know Liam's only seven, but he is uh, getting getting older much faster than I had anticipated. So. It's uh, time is marching. It flies, I'm telling you. It does. This is cool. So this is the old, this is the old Disneyland TV show that they used to do. Yeah, um, the, the funk. Yeah, it's so cool. And they've got all the different lands. See, these are the only lands they had at the beginning. It was Frontierland, Tomorrowland, Adventureland, and Fantasyland. That's it. Each week, as you enter this timeless land, one of these many worlds will open. And they would showcase a different world every week. And Walt, being the genius he was, he made such a big deal about it on TV that everybody wanted to go and mom was telling me like she remembers when she was a kid like she watched it on TV like yeah. when can we go to Disneyland like it, it was so smart that he did that otherwise nobody would have known about it at all $55 for that one that's a pretty cool sweatshirt for $55 tomorrow, sorry go yeah are you gonna go shopping tomorrow oh yeah <laughs> this is cool too is it just like a cup what am I missing here this product may be, I don't know. It's like just a tumbler. It's cool though. You haven't learned from Jenna how to shop? No, but I know how to show cool stuff. This is neat, there's a typewriter. It's actually got notepad in it. So yeah, I like all the old time kind of stuff. And then here you go, they got the kids version. Walt Disney's Disneyland. Fun. No wonderful world of color cool all the nice vintage stuff and this is a neat I don't know if anybody's ever looked up in here before but there you go now you have not gonna do it not gonna do it <laughs> I got all the candy and Christmas, now, Christmas ornaments are here all year, so that's not like news or anything. But over there, that definitely wasn't there last week. I don't think it was, at least. Throw pillow. 
Forty-five dollars. It's kind of cool, though. Oh, wow. that's like a ton more Christmas stuff over here. <laughs> I'm gonna trip and fall here. All right. So, and maybe they did show this, but Dad, um, they do have a new train. So, Mom says he can't have it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dad has a lot of trains in his in his garage now. He asked me one day, he's like, you know that old train set we had, the Lionel train set? Can I have that back? I was like, sure. It was in a box. I didn't have a place to put it up, you know. And so he has a table in the garage set up all for it now. That's cool, though. Yeah. He got on eBay and bought a bunch of stuff that he remembered from when he was a kid. Yeah, so I buy old computers and he buys tra old train okay. stuff. <laughs> okay, this is neat. I actually like the graphic on here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I know Jenna's already shown this stuff. We've got your Crocs there with a present on top. Are they official Crocs? They sure are. There's no counterfeit Crocs here. <laughs> of course, the spirit bag. I'm sure that actually moves. Yeah, it does. It does. Oh, that's cool. Jenna did great on her vlog about Tuscarawas. That's, that's awesome. Dad's allowed one more train. Oh, we should do a train vlog uh, cover box. That's, uh, like a pillow ornament. It's really cool. And then pink stocking. I'm assuming there's a blue one on the other side, maybe. So, guys, tomorrow at 9 a.m. I have a uh, relaxing stroll Halloween decorations. So go check that out uh, at Magic Kingdom. That's the cool side of the store, too. We'll hear what we miss. Where you at, Ron? <laughs> Are you shopping? Oh, oh, you brought... You, oh, he sent his viewers over. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> All you missed was showing Christmas stuff, buddy. <laughs> We're just showing the Christmas stuff. And also these. Okay, see, so we just saw Fantasmic today. We got Magic Band Plus Fantasmic. It's pretty cool. What else do we have? I did. I went to a store in Winter Garden yesterday, and they have, like, old pens and stuff. I need to show Jenna the picture, like, vintage pens from different openings of things. All right, that's cool. Hey. <laughs> He's, still, he's, still around. he's going. He's going quick. Well, thank you to Ron. I know he just he just literally passed by me, but thank you to Ron for sending all his people over. That was awesome. Very nice. We appreciate you guys. Welcome in, Ron on the go. I was like, whoa, we just we just jumped 350 people. Oh, he sent all his people over. That's why. That's super kind. Thank you guys. So welcome in, all my Ron on the go friends. We're glad you're here. Very very glad you're here. Ah, so it's a pretty view. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks for being on for Fantasmic's anniversary, for sure. Bespoke Magic. Yeah, big thanks to Ron. Super nice guy, and we appreciate it. Oh, let's see. I guess let's go over here real quick and look at the toys. Now, if you have to, if you, I don't, I don't want to keep you out late. If you have to go because you're going to get up early, or if you're all good, I mean, you're welcome to hang out for as long as you want. I have to take the bus here in a minute. Okay. I just said, you know, thanks for everybody. I'll be back in the chat. Oh, for sure. So, Thank you. It'll be fun. Awesome. Well, like I said, I'm, I'll probably shop through here, but if you're welcome to come with me or if you want to go and, okay, and, okay. and get some rest, it's up to you. It's 1045 when the bus got to be out there. So. Okay. Cool. Well. Again, you know, I'm just going to take off real quick. And, yeah. So, again, thank you, everybody. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. It's super fun. Yeah. Appreciate it. Enjoyed it. And I uh, hope the next time I come, I'll probably find you guys again, you know. but. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Enjoy this time. I mean, like I said, this time I was just wanted to say thank you to everybody. Yes. You know, on the chat, so they know that you know, like we do, we get it. Yeah. You know, and sometimes it's like the little stuff that you guys send, you know, do, do for us. It may be small for you, but for us, it's massive. Yes. You know, so bringing a little bit of home to us when we're out, it's, it's it was so good. Well, if you guys were not here earlier, he was talking about how. Uh, first of all, he served overseas for several years. So 26 years, you said? 26 years in the military. In the military, yeah. So, and most recently, he was deployed in Afghanistan quite a bit with a great group of guys. And they, uh, hoppers would send care packages over uh, for everybody. And he would share all the love with all the guys over there. And they'd watch the streams together. It was just such an amazing thing. And so he wanted to say thank you to everybody for supporting all the kind words in the chat, all the care packages, all that stuff. That's so true. It means a lot. That is so true. So. I mean, I can't. Not just me, but the rest of the guys too. Yeah. On behalf of them, I gotta say thank you so much. Oh, for sure. Because you know, I mean, uh, the candies and 
and you know the, the stickers and I mean like I said the small stuff yeah you know sometimes we'll put stuff in our helmets you know from you know we'll, we'll bring stuff and put them in our little pockets and oh 100% you know, it, it was it was, like I said, it was great but, you know, like, oh yeah well that's cool I'm glad it was appreciated you know you hope that you can send something over that at least is I always do you something know, I always you know a few guys that out doing their stuff their stuff so I'll, I'll yeah it. All right, well, that's so again, awesome. Thank you. I well, appreciate it. Oh, watch behind you. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. It's my, our pleasure. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're good. All right, guys. Have a great night. Thank you. So, thank you again, Ron on the Go people. I know Ron's in the chat now. Thanks, Ron. We appreciate you, buddy. I'm sure we'll see you in a minute. We're just going to shop for a little bit with your people. I'm going to sneak right up on you. Wait, how did I find you when you're not streaming? Uh, it's pretty easy. If I've you got, don't move much, I'll be there. Right. Also, I have ESPN. I'm just kidding. <laughs> is huge. Yeah. That's awesome. So, um, so, yeah, thanks for sending everybody over. Appreciate it. Hi, everybody. We're just shopping. I'm not great at it, but I can show stuff. <laughs> I went over and started showing, like, the different shirts and stuff, the new sweatshirts and things, and I'm like, okay, that's the extent of it. I can't, any other clothes, I'm like, that's a shirt. That's another shirt. It's like, this is a tree. It's another tree. Yeah, they do. I like that they have Christmas Crocs over the there with presents on them. So cool. Those are pretty cool. Uh, My favorite are the uh, Star Wars. Are they Star Wars Crocs? They are, but they're not very good. They're not. Well, they should be. They should be like I want the like the. I want a Falcon. Right? Ooh, yeah. or like a or like a light space. You know, the light speed image. Like oh, yeah. that would be cool on Crocs. So, um, oh David, yes, that is what a hero looks like. Yeah, Louis, super awesome guy. And just was awesome, was amazing. He was telling me how the Hoppers used to send him care packages when he was overseas, and just yeah. like how much that meant for him. We so it's pretty cool. I used to get, and I know you were in the military too. So, so we were in Afghanistan. I'd get a package randomly from like Washington. I'd be like, Who, "Who's this from?" And it's just a bunch of people who were just like, "We got a hold of your address," and I'm like, "How did you get a hold of my address?" That's cool that they're able to do that though, but, for yeah, I mean, you know, for good good reason. But yeah, they would send us all kinds of stuff. And everybody would send us baby wipes because they were told that we didn't have toilet paper. Oh. We had toilet paper. Okay. <laughs> so we had this insane amount of <laughs> You had all these baby wipes that, yeah, that's funny. Well, I was in a, what's called a J-Cub, which is a little base of like 20 people. Okay, so yeah, um, so not a full base. Yeah, and we would just like, rotate chips and everything. But he had to do the whole burn stuff and all that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is cool. No. Also... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like fun, actually. Yeah, it smells out here. I'm like, oh, it's not the worst thing ever. Right? Yeah, no. That definitely sounds pretty bad, actually. Oh, it looks like it's been worn for like 10 years. That's cool. And then on the inside, it's just reversible. Because it's a bucket hat. Oh, thanks, Louis. 34 99 Now, fleece was 37 22 The fleece was 37 20 That's a random number. Big focus. There we go. Wow, yep. Thirty-seven twenty-two. That is a weird price. All right, so we have, we have uh, for any of our Jewish friends, we have the Hanukkah stuff, which is cool. Super cool to see the menorahs and that. This is cool. This is like a it's like a dressy Hanukkah shirt. It's it's actually really light light material. Feel that. That's it's like super I, comfortable. Like whenever you buy one of those, you're just like, is it a material light because it's floor? Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's perfect. And thank you, Louis, again. I appreciate it so much. Um, <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm like it's 67. I feel great. <laughs> I feel great, man. I love it. I have no. I have no complaints right now. Uh, I think we need a. Oh, this is great. I think we need a Ron and Josh shopping vlog for all of us shopping <laughs> challenge folks. <laughs> so Jenna always said we said for April Fools. Maybe yeah, I shouldn't. Well, so. Oh, she does. But when she went through, actually, she had a fashion merchandising for part of her degree. What is that? These are the 50th years. Oh, they sure are. Yeah. So, Jenna and I have said for a long time, she's going to do a chaotic stroll, like the opposite of a relaxing stroll. Okay, got it. And then I'm going to do shopping, and all I'm going to do is be like, that's cool. That's really awesome right there. That's awesome. I just, so I used to do character warehouse videos. I would show the item, front, back, side, right? Yep. And then I'd be like, Twenty nine ninety nine. And then the next item. <laughs> and people loved it because it was quick. To it's quick, yeah. But then at the same time, I'm not showing like a little detail, like yeah, like maybe on the 
inside there's you know because i never thought about the stitching here oh yeah how it might on rub on your head sure yeah. sure yeah but people don't think about that kind of stuff as much sometimes oh this is cool this is band leader mickey uh, and the smallest it must be a teacup because that's not a coffee cup $16.99 don't tell jenna that ron did a shopping vlog yeah we won't well no, i'm sure it'll be fine I don't think Jenna's going to be out of a job anytime soon. <laughs> I think we're going to, we're, she's going to be all right. Oh, that's a Nike one. That's cool. See? Details. Yeah, but like 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Oh, I know, because my school has both Nike polos and regular, and the regular ones are like 30, and the Nikes are 50. Yeah. Yeah, Nike polos, 50 or 60 bucks. And then this has 20. <laughs> that was spark more shiny, shinier. They don't have as many toys as they used to. Yeah, we got they got a lot of twenty twenty three stuff. I I bought Liam a bunch of twenty twenty stuff because nobody wanted it. Yeah. And so like I that. we went out and like bought buses and semis and all the different little toys that they had. I did the same thing with my son at the end of twenty because nobody was trying to go park in twenty. Well, all the merch. And a lot of people like would walk by there and say, "I don't really want to remember this year." I was like, "Well, okay." <laughs> yeah. Yes, it was. I was wondering, Liam wants one of these, but I was wondering about it. I like Grogu and a Grogu and a pumpkin. It's cool. Trio shopping vlog by adding Jenna. Yep. Hello from Lake Mary. How are you, Joanne? Some folks think for a coffee mug for twenty dollars or a hat for fifty is worth it. That's true, Josh. That's true. Porg, porg. Yeah, there you go. See, that's my shopping. $30 porg. <laughs> I have a friend who's a Lotso fan. And I think that's the first one I've seen. Oh, that. man. It's like the fur and everything. Yeah, but it's got that. Oh, it's got his yeah. face on it. Wow. I mean, he's kind of an evil bear. He could be eating you, you know? You I mean, never know. He smells like berries, so how could he be evil? That's true. <laughs> yeah, how could he be evil? I wish they would, Disney would make hats that fit big guys' heads. Yeah, seventy. Seventy. That's yeah, because it's got the it's got the bear head on it. Twelve ninety nine, or yeah, or this has got to be twenty bucks, and it's like seventy. This is cool. These are crochet. You can crochet your aliens. Okay. This is uh, seventy dollars, but it's a big toy. Yeah, this, see now these things like you go to Toys R Us when we were kids and find all these giant boxes of GI Joes and whatever else. Oh yeah. Yeah. I only ever had like Liam has all these sets of Legos. I only had just like Legos where you could just build whatever you want. I never had like a certain like set. Yeah, like you had to put it in specific, yeah. specific order. Well, like what basically what I did all the time was just build a house. Let's check out these shirts over here. I love this Disney World. I've got the Epcot retro shirt now that just came out, the Epcot Center one. Yeah, I got that one, but uh, this is cool too. I have the scream canister. It's not. It's fun to drink from. It's not that big. Oh, the scream canister. The one here. Right oh, Louis says that for him, the baby wipes were lifesavers in his base. Okay, I mean, that's cool. I was. It was 132. Yeah. I, Anything cool was helpful. Yeah, so like baby now, wipes didn't work. They were hot wipes. Hot wipes. Yeah, it was just. I, uh, we and lost. you were in Afghanistan too? Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I was in RC West, if you don't know this. So if you look at Afghanistan, I was in the giant desert on, on the border of Iran. Okay, yeah. so the hottest part, basically. Yeah, so it was yeah. like 100. Every day, you just look at the thermometer in the shade and it'd say like 122, 130. Ugh, in the shade. I mean, it's, Obviously, it was broken because that would make it like the hottest place on earth. That's true. Yeah, it wasn't quite Death yeah, Valley. But, um, this is cool. It's like a 70s kind of style. I think our thermometer was just busted because it was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it got so hot, it just was like, forget it. I give up. So, um, I remember the first time I saw a cloud after four months of being there. I remember the first time I saw a cloud. I did. There was this little puff, and I was like, are we being mortared? And they're like, no, that's a cloud. I'm like, no, no, we haven't seen clouds in months. We haven't seen clouds. Wow, that is crazy. It's Monday holiday, yes it is. That's a whole old dress. That is. There you go, now you gotta get it for your daughter. <laughs> no, I, I'm sure you do. How much? Oh, well. It has the price. That one is an iron, yeah. That's cool. 
Also, we have Halloween and Christmas. It's fine. It's all fine. All fine. Okay, well, I think the store's closed, and I think I am done. Yeah, we were out at 1.30 last night. What, what is it? The uh, Ahsoka. These are new. It's very, yeah, very cool. These are very new. Very well Not done. Not much for, but like a lot of... Remember... Meat. There you go. That's cool. Well, sometimes if you look inside, it'll have like special print. Like oh, yeah. The Tron said Tron 40 all over them. I love that it says Star Wars on the Lounge Fly tag, though. Most of the time they... Well, I guess Pixar's over here. Yeah, Pixar. Persephone says, just subscribe to Ron. This channel informs me of so other good channels. That's awesome, Persephone. Welcome in. So they, they try to, like, match them on. Yeah. All right. Disney Parks. But yeah, this is the... Uh, you heard about the Ahsoka Numios, right? The little... The what? Oh, the Numios? Oh, yeah. Jenna loves those. Get, well, you can't even get an Ahsoka one. I think... Uh, well, the Tanya went around to like every park and everything. She was trying to get one one day. Oh, she and did. That's how she came up with Viewers Choice Day. Oh, okay. Because everybody was telling her where to go and to find the stuff. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah, pretty soon the Halloween stuff's gonna go to the outlet. About a month from now. They'll yeah they'll they'll do it probably like second week in November or something. Thank you. Weird to walk outside and like the temperature drop. It's colder outside, yeah. What? What? Okay. What is the temperature? It's got to be like sixty-five. Sixty-five, right on it. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Yep. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. But welcome to hang out. We can chat a little bit. All right, everybody, say goodnight to Ron. Later, everybody. Thanks for shopping with me. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I was just looking at stuff. We were just looking at stuff. Yeah, I know it lounge flies because they had a lounge fly person. So yeah. That's how I knew that was a new one. Otherwise, man, I don't know much. Yeah, you knew more than I did. That was good. That was good color commentary. <laughs> All right. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, so the stroll is, the stroll is actually a. Um, oh, sorry. The stroll is a uh, regular video, no premiere. So the stroll just at 9 a.m. Stroll's going to go up. It's going to be live. And, well, it'll be, it'll be public to view. At 9 a.m., it'll be Magic Kingdom, um, fall decorations, relaxing stroll, beautiful, beautiful day, perfect weather. You're not going to want to miss it, guys. And by the way, with our friend Louie and Ron here, both awesome service members, we've got uh, a tribute to our awesome uh, armed, armed services people here. we got Hollywood Canteen, servicemen's games, and, reflect, and uh, refreshments. So good. Hey, Matt. So again, it's so great to hang out with Louie. Um, and thank you to Ron's people for coming in. It's just, I don't know, it's been a great night. It's been a great night. Thanks, everybody. I haven't even selfied like all night. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> I got Star Wars on tonight. But if you want a Halloween shirt, definitely check out the, um, the shop.resorttv1.com website so you can get some Halloween stuff or whatever kind of stuff you want. It's all good. Just find some stuff and get it. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed the night tonight. Again, I know we don't normally go on Tuesday or whatever. Is it Tuesday? <laughs> I know we don't normally go on Sunday, but um, it was fun today because my friend and I went to Halloween, um, Halloween Horror Nights last night, and uh, so we, we wanted to enjoy that. So definitely um, next week we'll be back on Saturday, our regular day. So you don't have to pick between the NFL and Resort TV 1 anymore. I know that's a, that's a tough choice tonight. I get it. Uh, I know college football has been popular too, but either way, glad you guys are here. Much love to everybody. Um, I just, just appreciate all of you. I want to make sure that we don't miss... Um, let me make sure I don't miss anything here real quick. Because um, I always miss stuff. So, Oh, thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your night as well, sir. All right, everybody. So I am going to... Um, yeah, so I'm going to see you soon. So go check out the premiere tomorrow. We'll be live on Tranquil Tuesday as well for uh, Epcot. So we're going to show you uh, Moana Journey of Water because that actually will be open officially that day. Uh, so we'll see if they have a line or a virtual queue or how they, or they just let people have at it. I don't know. We'll see. I bet it'll be like a virtual queue for a while or a line or something. But either way, we'll see that. We'll also uh, show you Epcot Forever and um, maybe some Soren. We'll see. So that'll be on um, Tuesday. So And then Friday, I don't know where we'll be. We'll figure it out. Oh, and check out Patreon if you want to do that. Check out patreon.com slash resort TV one. If you want to uh, see our wonderful walkouts and things, I'm not going to do one tonight. Uh, but we'll do one on Friday. So definitely check out a wonderful walkout series. I might do one on Tuesday for you, too. Uh, but tonight I'll walk out and chat with Ron a little bit. So it's always fun to chat with other streamers, talk shop. So it'll be fun. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. We'll see you soon. Um, I think that's all I need to tell everybody. Anyway, whatever else, if I am something, I will definitely... Um, I really like doing a whole dance over here. Um, if I miss somebody, I will... Um, 
Alright, or if I miss something, I'll, I'll post it on social media. Like, they're like, like, like going after it over here. They're like way better dancers than I am. Wow. I mean, that didn't take much. I'm a horrible dancer. But anyway, alright. Good night, everybody. We'll see you soon. Uh, thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. Thanks, Moppers. Thanks, Hoppers. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate all you guys. So, Moppers do a great job. Hoppers, you guys are amazing. We appreciate all of you. All right. So, for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.